Right guys, this is my Rebel Army. Uh, total of 797 points, so it's a three point bid. Which has uh, successfully secured me the blue player for this this game. Uh, so we've, it's a bit of a, a, an odd army for me this time. Because I've gone from a lot of things I've never taken before. So um, we'll see how that goes in a moment. But um, you never know, it's going to be fun anyway. So I've uh, literally um, some... Models of this unit were f painted last night at like early hours, so um, the general was uh, finished last night at the early hours. So let's go over what I've got. So I've got a uh, rebel officer with electro binoculars. We've got Chewbacca with um, no extra equipment. We've got Sabine Wren with uh, a personal combat shield. We've got a sniper team with recon intel to get a bit of a extra move on their deployment. Uh, we've got a bare bones um, rebel trooper unit with a, a medical droid. Uh, the rebel veterans, which I now can't leave home without. Um, so we've got the CM093 trooper and uh, one extra veteran. And then we've got a unit of fleet troopers, is something I've not used in quite some time, uh, with a scatter gun and an extra trooper. And then we've got the 1.4 FD laser cannon, or radar dish gun, as everyone else uh, probably knows it by. With the barrage generator for the, some suppressive shots and the link target array. And lastly, we've got the uh, Rebel land speeder with a, um, the rocket launcher, the medium blaster, the outer ring um, speed jo speeder jockey, and uh, no gunner, but um, I, I couldn't be bothered to take off the... Um, um, uh, but, but, but what's he called? Rodian, there we go. So that's the Rebels. Uh, very, very depressingly small army, but um, we'll see how it goes. Over to the Imperials now. Right, guys, we've got the Imperial Army here. Uh, the Empire's Finest, or um, whatever you want to call them. So, Adam, what, what we got here then, the, the army? Okay, well... Change from last time, so this time General Veers yep. is uh, taking charge. He's preparing the troops. Going to get things done. He's got himself electro binoculars, so he'll have spotter three today. Very nice. Uh, nice Very little, tasty. Nice little thing there. And I give him commanding presence as well, so um, orders at range four. Yeah, nice. Think, that um, extra bit of range there, yes. So should make all the difference. So what else? He still to... comes in at under 100 points. Bargain. Just by, well, 98 comes in at, which is pretty good value for considering what you get from him. Uh, so onto the uh, squads here, we've got some uh, shore troopers in the middle there with their T21B there, exactly the same as I ran them last time, along with their mortar with the comms relay, which is also exactly the same as last time. And yeah, and squad of one squad this time, not two, one squad of stormtroopers with DLT, exactly as they were last time. So okay. Nothing special there. Then special forces lurking behind Veers there, we've got the. Um, the um, sab saboteurs team. Uh, this time they've got recon intel because um, it's that little extra bit of movement at the start. I think could be quite useful. I'm still getting the hang of how to use those guys. I think they do work better if you've got more than one unit, but I have one, so that's <laughs> that's all you've got. So yeah. um, use what you have. Def troopers then again um, making their presence known. Um, a little bit of a change from last time. They don't have an HQ uplink this time. They have recon intel as well, ah. and they've got their config and DLT. So um, they're a little bit cheaper than last time, but at the expense of um, having no control over when their token comes up, other than order cards. And then uh, because it's Veers, I've gone a bit mechanised. I've got my ever-present two units of speeder bikes, and nothing special on them. But, of course, the elephant in the room, the, the ATST in the room here, yeah. is an ATST. But a pew, 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 bam, bam, yeah. pew, pew, pew. I've not used it since the points changed. I've not used it in ages, actually. So um, I'd get it out, dust it down. Uh, it's not armed to the teeth, um, as the model suggests. It's just got the um, the main gun and the side gun. The mortar and grenade launcher I've left them behind just to keep keep it cheap. But it does have the uh, the first sergeant. Um, I don't know how to pronounce his name. So it's uh, Bob. First side of Bob, yeah, there we go. Um, so it will get, um, if it moves, it gets an aim token. Which Ooh, is very, quite, quite very nice. helpful. Yeah. So that, that came in just under 200, which is, you know, okay there. Right then, guys, we're going to go over to the um, pre-game phase, that I still can't remember the name of, for the um, deployment cards and whatnot. Okay, guys, back in a second. 
Right guys, uh, we've got the defining the battlefield phase here, so we've got um, across the top we've got rapid reinforcements, limited visibility, hostile environment, major offensive, the long march and battle lines, and we've got intercept transmissions, breakthrough and recovered supplies, and obviously I've got blue player, so I'll have the first veto and I'm going to have a little think about what I'm doing and we'll be back in a second, but for you guys it'll be instantaneous. Right guys, I've decided to um, pass. Okay. Right. Uh, I will... I will also pass. Oh. Mm. You know what? I think I'm now going to can limit uh, the rapid reinforcements. Okay. Well, I had thoughts about what I'd do if you did that, and I don't want limited viz. Oh, there goes my But plan. we do have to remember this time the that hostile environment, environment is in play. Oops, a day. Uh, eagle eyed watchers of our, our last battle report will note this that we drew the card and then completely forgot about it for the entire game. Right, so we've got. Let's put a start. Hostile environment. <laughs> um, so we've got intercept transmissions and major offensive. So we're going to do some. Um, Set up shenanigans and we'll be back in a, a bit with the um, deployment overview. But first we're going to go over, we're going to go over a little bit of a battlefield view for you guys. Okay, back in a second. Right guys, here's a bit of a battlefield overview. So we've gone for a more of a more settlement approach, I'd say, this time for the, for the, um, the game board. So we've got the remnants of a crash ship over there. Um... The medical building over this way, over here, with its three stories and obviously uh, ladders and steps and whatnot. We've got one objective token there to be claimed. Uh, we've got one building over there with uh, ladders and shenanigans around the side. And we've got a landing pad over here that's just open, just something to, to um, look nice. A large building there with uh, a couple of ladders and whatnot and barricades and stuff than that and there's another building here and over there we've got the oh, we've got the other objective there and over here we've got another uh, building and another landing, landing pad with a crate really need to paint some more of those and then a, a building over in the corner so I'm gonna go around just give you a second and we'll get from the other side right guys um, here's the other side so again the crash spaceship the medical building and then we've got that building there, the orange building, with the objective on the other side. Middle objective there. Uh, the large green building. Some more barricades. And there's the objective there. And over here we've got the middle objective, which I've probably already pointed out, which I can't remember, but never mind. Two small buildings there, a barricade in the middle, and the landing pad with a crate on. So, and. <laughs> As you probably realise, it's all heavy, heavy cover, but um, I'm sure we won't mind, and plenty of people will get killed anyway. Okay, guys, on to deployment, and we'll be back after that. We're finished with that. Right, guys, it is the deployment overview, and um, we've got the FD lays on top of this building, uh, ready to um, shoot some stuff. Um, got a land speeder down here, um, ready to set off and um, do some land speeding. These guys, although it looks like they're on top of a building, they're actually inside. There's a little uh, doorway there. They're going to come. They're basically one floor down from where they are, and we're going to uh, charge out in the first turn. We've got a the fleet troopers over here, uh, supporting the pyramid formation again with the uh, the rebel general um, tagging along. With Chewie and Sabine in the middle there. The medical droid with his uh, accompanying for, um, uh, for well free wounds because he'll die before the last guy. Um, rebel troopers and over here we've got some snipers. Now facing across the way we've got uh, the shore troopers, the mortars and the um, um, saboteurs. And then sneaky sneakily around the back we've got the speeder bikes and the stormtroopers. And oh oh what's that? 
another unit of speeder bikes. And we'll go, we're going to go around the other side and give you a quick overview of the battlefield from that angle. And we'll be back, so with two seconds. Right, here's the deployment from the Imperial point of view. So over here we've got some speeder bikes ready to fly over this building. And the barricade is uh, well defended there. We we'll just, just see some snipers poking out in the corner. Speeder bikes ready to speed around the building. And uh, some stormtroopers may be getting about to get displaced. A uh, big ATST with uh, impending doom, and they've got the uh, Death Troopers with um, the Rebels over there, all in the open, ready to make that uh, mad dash like in Rogue One, across the open. Right guys, we're going to go over to the orders now, and uh, command cards and such like. Right, so we'll be back in a second with that first round command cards. Right guys, round one, command cards. Um, I've gone for the predictable standing orders. Hmm. What have you gone for, Adam? I've gone for something that will serve my interests this turn, I hope, which is evasive manoeuvres. Oh, so, so you've got two vehicles for you and uh, one unit for me. So you've got the lower pip, so you'll, you'll have first uh, activation. So on to the activations, guys. Right, guys, um, first, the first orders have been placed. Um, I've gone for the uh, sniper team over here. Um, Adam's gone for the ATST and uh, one of his speeder bikes. Now, which one was it? Which one was it? The uh, one's hiding behind there. The one's hiding behind that building. So, yeah. Adam, do you know what you're doing for your first activation? You're going to your bag or one of your tokens? Uh, let me see. I am going to. Oh, and you, you got a, a dodge as well, didn't you? For your uh, yeah. So, your car. so the two units got a dodge each, and uh, they can use the dodge they to uh, cancel crits. crits, which is very sneaky. So, uh, that's quite nice. Yeah. So. Um, I'm going to go to my bag for the very first. Okay, Actually, done. Actually, no, no, I'm going to use the ATST. ATST. Let's do, do it. Do you know what you're doing with it? Um, yeah, I think so, yeah. I'm going to make a move because it gets a name when I do a move. So be uh, silly not to. Crafty, crafty. And then uh, I will shoot at something. Yeah, something, so something's probably going to die. Feet, you know. Right, Adam, do you want to go of what you just done there? Yeah, well, uh, I sort of declared it and put the movement template out, so I was kind of stuck with, uh, you know, in terms of taking it back. Uh, so, realised that I would displace my own death troopers, and when we looked at the displacement rules, it would be you that's placing the unit. Um, so, with the unit leader being one of the models that could be displaced, basically I worked out that you'd probably be able to put them out of cover in front of your whole force if yeah. you wanted to, which... Um, I don't think I want to lose a unit that good this early. So instead, the ATST has had its uh, wings clipped a little bit here. It's, uh, yeah. So it's crept forwards as far as it can without displacing them. That's left it, we checked beforehand, out of range of um, pretty much everything um, on the board. Yeah. Um, it was just a bit shy of these people. So what I did instead was, as any dodge um, can block crits at the moment, I've taken, I've done a bit of a move and got another dodge. I do technically have an aim token as well because I did do a standard move, but I'm not going to be able to use it because I'm not shooting. So that's really it. It's there with two dodges and aim. And uh, the FD cannon is just in range of it as well, we checked. So. Oh, you just out as well. I thought you might, you thought you might have been in those rebel troopers, but you're just out. Okay, guys, over to my activation. I'm just going to have a little think about. Yeah, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go quite simple. We're going to these um, snipers and we're going to do a, um, a clamber off using the ladder. And we're going to have a shot at somebody. Now who should we shoot at? Let's have a model's eye view of the targets. So we've got the uh, shore troopers, the mortar trooper or the, uh, sab the nasty saboteurs. But we can only see the one of them. So it's very crafty there. So... You know what? Let's 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 have a look. I'm have a quick look at ranges, guys. See if the other guy's going to be in range as well. Right, guys. I've finally decided what I was going to shoot at. Uh, I figured that he's probably going to help him if I shoot his uh, his saboteur and kill that one, so it'll actually get a bit better better position. So I'm going to pick on the shore troop and see if we can pick off one or two of those guys. Right, I'm going to go for the dice, and uh, we'll be back in a second. Right guys, the sniper team shooting at the shore troopers. Just sniper in range, so we got one black and white with pierce one. See if we can get some with no re-rolls. 
Oh, we got a surge, and I think that's a hit which will go on to cover. Which I'm gonna just double check if I think I surged a hit, but got surge to crit. So let's double check that. <laughs> yep, surge to hit, which will bounce off the cover. So one suppression token and no wounds. Okay, guys, on to the Imperials. Right, Adam, what's your next unit? I'm going to my bag. Right, I want to keep the uh, speeder bikes available for for later. For later, yeah. For... So into the bag now. To that slight distance miscalculation. Maybe I should have fished for the Death Troopers first. Uh, okay, so let's see we pull out, and it is the Death Troopers. <laughs> Yay! Wrong order. There we go. Okay. Uh, or the the, uh, or the saboteurs. Saboteurs. Yeah. Who nope, now nope. been uh, have, lost the risk of being sniped at, so they do actually have a bit of free reign now. Or they want to start pegging units with the Death Troopers before you can activate things. Mm, we'll find it's, some cover. It's quite good because uh, you're very looking very lonely over the I side could of the get board. a decent angle on a couple of units and maybe start hurting them. So yeah, I'll go with the Death Troopers. Let's do this. All right then. Okay, so I think from where they are, really, I think it's going to be a move and a shoot just so I can get um, enough shots. Okie dokie. Uh, certain people who can't see it at the moment. So um, we'll take a break for a moment and uh, sort out the move. Do some movement. Okay, yeah. back in a second, guys. Right, guys, the Death Troopers have um, advanced around the corner, and we they are going to have a, a shot at the uh, Rebel Troopers before in the open before they get some cover. Right, guys, over to the dice. Right, guys, it's the Death Troopers shooting at the Rebel Troopers. Have you gone for your suppressive thing, or you... Uh, no, I'm saving the suppressive for later, so uh, it's just um, four black, two red, and a white. Okay, let's see what we get. Yeah. No aims here, so let's uh, hope they roll well. Oh, that five. Oh, so you said hit. hit? Yeah, oh, that's, that's, hit, that's, so that's, this is going to be painful. I don't think we'll have a unit left. Another hit there, this. and another hit there. So six? Uh, six, yeah. Yep. So I think that's the unit that will be wiped out knowing no, the white saves. I know you're quite jammy often sometimes, so see. Um, and uh, not this time. That's the medical droid gone before he even chance to worm do anything. Right, that's uh, one unit gone, and we'll be uh, over to my activation. Right, guys, after that painful um, display there, we've gone. I'm going over to the stack for the rest of the round. So what we got? We've got a operative. I think we're going to go for Chewbacca, and he's going to go over there and uh, shoot some death troops. So we're going to do a bit of movement, and we'll be back in a second. Right then, uh, Chewbacca round one activation in five, four, three. Right, guys, Chewbacca's advanced a little bit and he's going to have got some death troops. Unfortunately, um, I couldn't get them out of the cover, so we we'll have to have a, a hard cover shot at them. Uh, so we're going to go over to the dice and see what happens to that, and hopefully we'll get some death troopers down. Okay, guys, back in a second. Right, guys, Chewie's going to shoot the death troopers. We've got two red and two white with Pierce one. See if we can get past the cover. Oh, I've managed to get a, a dice and it's cut. So we've got uh, two surges and two hits. The surges, I believe, go to crits, but it's not going to matter because we've got two going away or uh, two crits. So we'll check that sec in a second. So two shots, two hits are going to go away at, at the very least. And that's going to leave two saves with Pierce 1. Two saves with Pierce 1, right. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to block both these to only lose one guy. Here goes. We only lose one guy, so we lose one. You yeah. surge to save, don't you? Yes, I do. So that's one Death Trooper down and a bit of suppression for them. So over to the Imperials. Right, guys, after Chewie dropping one one of those Death Troopers, it's on to the Imperial um, activation. So you're going straight to your bag, aren't you? Yeah, I am, yeah. I'm gonna Let's see what we get. Save those bikes for later. Let's see what I get. Better be the other Well, year, I forgot right. you had the bikes. Yes, I do, yeah, but I'm saving them. So. Yes. Oh, we've got it's a Trooper unit. Trooper of course, right. okay. the uh, appropriate term should be. It is, yeah. Now let's have a look. Uh, still stuck in our ways from 40k, aren't we, really? We are, yeah. I still play it quite often. But uh, Legion's the game of choice this uh, this month, it would seem. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's been two games in two weeks, which yeah, is, uh, it's it's a, a, is it a record for me. It's like normally two <laughs> games in two years. Yeah. Uh, oh, no! Range. Oh, no, hang on. The mortars. Two say, to three. I was going to say it's uh, it's the uh, shore troopers who've got a ranged four weapon. Ah, oh, no, hang on, the mortars three to four. Or is it three to four? Oh, yeah, the mortars three to four and one. the storm shore troopers one to three and then a one gun at range four. So oh. it is worth checking with range four because the snipers are well in. Yep. Nothing else is. Yeah. So, uh, just because you killed them. Come, mortars <laughs> cumbersome. So uh, either 
reposition or I try and deal with these guys. And these guys are outside of range three we worked out, didn't we? So the sniper yeah. couldn't do anything. So a move and I'd be without the well, benefit. Rather the, the supporting guy who couldn't do yeah. anything. Well, basically we're just out here from of range three. Yeah. So they could do a move. The shooting would be without the benefit of an aim token at the moment. Uh, not such a problem because when General Veers activates, they're outside of his range one for gaining aims anyway. So I think I'm going to use the short troopers. Okie dokie. Right then, so what, you know what you're doing? Now I'm going to move. Now I'm going to shoot at the. Tell you, we'll, we'll come back after, you, after you've done your movement. Right, guys, the uh, short troopers have moved a bit. Uh, they've um, done some nice um, shenanigans here to get uh, the guys in, keep the guys in cover, but get some extra range by moving your. Um, leader after a bit further forward. It's, it's quite interesting, I was just saying off camera, how, how far range one actually is if you were to spread a unit fully out yeah. around so, the unit leader. In the so he's going to have a bit, a bit of shooting at the snipers and hopefully um, I'll, I'll have some left at the end of the round. Okay guys, on to the nah. dice. Nah. Right guys, short troopers at the snipers uh, for six black and two white. That is right, yeah, six black, two white. Okay. Yeah, with critical one as well. Yep, yeah, we've got heavy cover, but we'll critical one, see what we get. Right, so Ooh, that's, that's the, well, it's critical that one for you. Uh, there was no aim token, so and that, that, that hit disappears, all. but two crits through. And that goes away for cover, so two saves, which will probably know in my luck will uh, wipe the unit out. Let's hope. So, let's have a look, see if we can, we can pick a save up at least. Hey, we picked up both, go oh. on. No, both snipers have um, ducked down at the right time. Yes, the suppression. Okay, on to the rebel activation. Right, guys, I've just realised the short troopers actually had a suppression uh, marker, so we're going to try and roll it off and see if that will actually matter. You did, it so is, it's not so, yeah. so relevant. So, um, did it in the wrong order, but we it, right in the end. Okay, guys, on to the uh, rebel action again. Right, guys, it's rebel activation time again for round one, and we're back to the stack, and it's another trooper unit, so... Uh, Shaw Troopers, or the, ooh. yeah, we're going to go for the uh, the veterans over here and hopefully we'll uh, be able to get some rain, some shots on this one, right, back in, I'll tell you, no, actually, no, 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 going to go with the gut already, go for the original one, so Fleet we've got Fleet Troopers going to do some movement, shenanigans, and we'll be back in a tick. All right, over after much umming and ahhing about positioning, guys, uh, the fleet troops decided to do a double move to here and touch the barricade in case we get shot for suppression later. And um, obviously we weren't in range after the first move, so we doubled up and uh, get make sure we're in cover from wherever those speed effects may go. So that's them done, and we're over to the Imperials. Adam, are you picking from your bag, or oh, are you I'm going to take from my bag again? Yes. Okay. It's nice to have that predictable unit there that I can use at any time, but at the moment I actually want to just keep them as a threat. So, this is no trooper unit. So, so we've got stormtroopers. Well, we established that the um, the mortar would be in range for your sniper team up yep. there, so I might just start hurting them. We've got a squad of stormtroopers here, but I think I might save them for a bit. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna activate the mortar. Here we go. Right. Do you know what you're doing anymore? Are you aiming uh, and shooting? I've, I'm likely to be aiming and shooting. Probably just a you know, quick arc and range check, but it's likely to be those snipers there because of um, range, arc, um, line of sight. Yeah, it's... It's, it's the snipers, yep. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's going to be the snipers, yeah. So it's... Um, so we're aiming and shooting at the aim snipers? Aim and shoot, yeah. Okay, okay. That's uh, from over here to the snipers on top of this building. Okay, over to the dice. Right, guys, a mortar shooting at the snipers and heavy cover. Yeah. And it's, it's suppressive or more. Three white dice, critical one and suppressive. Really? So this is going to be fire away. Okay, here we go then. With an aim. Ooh. So critical one straight <coughs> away. So one will bounce off for. Um, oh, no, you got your aim. I can spend the aim. You That's going to bounce off anyway, so I might as well go fishing. Oh, you go fishing for crits. Might as well. So spend that aim. And it's not the other two aren't doing anything, so. Uh, uh, well, I've already used critical one, so just the, one the best I can, just one there. So then, see if we can keep the good luck going with the snipers. Nope, just the the spotter is dead. And two oh. suppression. Oh dear! There we go. On on to the rebel activation. Right, guys. After these um, snipers lost his spotter, onto the uh, stack for an next activation, and it's the support. So it's the FD cannon. Mm. I'm gonna have a, a look at the options, and it it might just be temp it, 
tempted just to ignore that ATST because then you've got all those dodges at the moment which you can block all my shots with. I'm going to check some ranges and we'll be back in a second. Right guys, I've decided as the ATST is um, likely just to dodge the uh, the hits I managed to put on him this round, I'm going to shoot the um, the death troops and I'm going to use my uh, barrage generator to get some suppressive onto it, onto it as well. Okay guys, we're going to go over to the dice and we'll see what happens when we pick on those death troopers. Alright guys, um, forgot to mention, I've taken a name for the other action, so, and we're, at, we're tapping the bar barrage generator, so we've got an extra two white and suppressive for this shot. So, five white, two, no, five black, two white. You five white if you oh want. my god, that's terrible. Uh, no. Two hits. Thankfully there's no cover, but still, it takes us to three. Okay, uh, I have so, a suppression on me, so does that matter? Oh, you've got cover, haven't you? You've got, got, you got a suppression turret, have you? So, so the down to two. So down to two, then? The not doing anything. Da down to two if you've um, got a suppression counter, so... Yeah. Well, let's see if that helps. So is it two, yeah? Here we go. Yes. One. Drop, drop one, then you've got one two suppression. Time. Two suppression. Right, guys, over to the Imperials. Right then, guys, after that um, bit of shooting there, took off one extra death trooper and put another suppression counter on there for a total of three now. Mm -hmm. Um... Adam's going back to his bag, he said. Yes, definitely. Here we go. Let's Leaving those bags for in, in suspense. Yeah, see what uh, surprises the bag has in store for us. It is. Ah, support. support. Which is the it, other unit of other bikes. The unit of bikes which are hiding right back here behind that. Yeah, this building over. It's going to be an aerial shot there. So, do you know what you're doing, Adam, or do you want to? Oh, I have a moment to think about it. Well, you've got your compulsory move. You might as well get that out of the way because you, yeah. you, you haven't got a so choice in that, that one. That is a speed three. From the unit leader here, obviously there's quite a few places I can go, so it's just... Uh, yeah, and ma making use of that speed of one to fly over stuff. Yeah. More getting the angles from the notched base, really, so... Ooh, very very crafty. I think that, that looks all right there. So, yeah, they'll, they'll hover around to here as they're yeah. compulsory, and then I'll stop for a think about what they're Okay, next. guys, we'll, we'll back in the tick. Right, guys, the speeder bikes have moved around the corner. Adam, what are you going to do with them? So that was their compulsory. We've uh, just checked the range, and they are in range of that sniper, so I'm just going to aim, shoot, and try and finish that sniper unit off. Yep, hopefully I'm going to still be alive, but you never know. Okay, guys, over to the dice. Right, guys, the speeder bikes are going to shoot those snipers and see if we, we have any left. So we've got double rainbows here coming up. The rainbows with an aim. Here we go. go. Okay, so so far... Do we search to hit? Search to hit, so yeah, that is a hit as well. Four? So, so we've got four hits, which means if I spend my aim to get those two re-rolled, I can start pushing hits through the cover as well. Yeah. So here we go. Aim spent. For another one, right, so that so is going to be three saves after three that. Three saves. One. So heavy cover takes two. Leaves does it leaves us free to to worry about. Oh, let's get three dice. See, can we do uh, the impossible? Not even close. So that's the snipers um, off the board. Right on to my activation. Right, guys. After that painful um, incident over there where the snipers are no more, it's back to the stack, and it is the commander. So. Um, Probably a bit late in the game to give out dodges to people, but um, mm. Mm, you never know. Right, I'm going to have a quick look at what I can do, and we'll be back in a second. Right, guys, the Rebel Officer decided to um, use his uh, binoculars and give uh, Sabine a name, and then did a speed one move over to there. Okay, guys, over to the Imperials. Adam, are you going to your bag, or are you going to share um, speed bikes? Uh, I am going to go to my bag again. Okay, see what we get. Yeah, see what we get, and it is... It's General Veers. General Veers. Prepare your yeah. troops that have already been prepared. Mostly mobilised, yeah. Yes. So uh, just have a think about what I'm going to do with him because he's got so many abilities. Now. OK, we'll be back in a second. Right, Adam, what's General Veers doing? Right, well, he's not got a ton to do. Uh, we did check that you can move through your own squads. Um, so basically what he's going to do, and it doesn't really matter which order he does this, but he's basically going to use his spotter three uh, at range one. Um, and he's going to put a name token on the bikes. Yep. It's going to put a name token on the stormtroopers. Yep. And even though it's already been, just because I paid for electro binoculars, uh, just for the hell of it, the ATST that's already been, why not? Yep. Making his and then he's moving over there after just thinking about positioning for the following turn, basically. Right then. And that's it. Yep. Over to the rebels then. For... Yeah. Right, guys. After some uh, various shenanigans over there, we're back to my stack. So let's see what we've got. It is a. 
Um, there, special, no, um... It's she commander? No, it's, um, operative? it's an operative. Thank you, that's what the word ah, I was looking for. Operative. It's the operative for one, so we're going to... Sabine is going to do some movement, and we're going to come back in a second once I've done that, see if we can kill some more death troopers. Right, guys, Sabine's uh, jumped over Chewie, and he's, she's going to have a, a bit of a pistol shot at those uh, death troopers, and thankfully two out of three are not in cover, so um, that's not going to be a factor, but let's see if we can drop another one. Okay, guys, back over to the dice. Right, guys, shooting from Sabine at the Death Troopers. Just realised that he's actually got suppression on him, so he will have light cover for this. So he's not, in fact, in the open. Better than nothing. Yep, so it's a rainbow shot from Sabine. Only the one, because only one target available. Uh, we've got a hit and a crit, and we're going to go for the aim, for the reroll there, which has done nothing. So the, so the hit goes away, the crit will go through, and kill a Death Trooper because of Pierce one. one. So... Right. I think I will take the person who's up there. So yep. there's Last generic trooper gone. Yep. Yeah. Okay, guys, over to the Another Imperial. Suppression. Right, guys, after that Imperial, uh, Sabine's dropped another death trooper. Uh, taken up to four suppression. It's Imperial activation time. Adam, are you going back to your bag or are you going into your... your, your, your um, well, works? I know exactly what's in the bag because it can only be... Well, actually, no, I don't. It could be either the, the uh, scouts or the stormtroopers here. Yeah. Um... I'm going to go to the bag. Bag time, okay. Yes. Can I keep, can keep us all in suspense about those, those I, speed I'm bikes. still happy with it being one of those two units, because either way... It is the Stormtroopers, who Storm have just had an aim from Veers, which is great, because I can move them out and then maybe take some shots. It might just be a DLT snipe, though, looking at yeah. the positioning here. So unit leaders right. going to have to make a move round this um, ATST at the very least. We're going to do some movement, guys, and we'll be back in a second. Right, Adam, what did you do with your Stormtroopers then? Uh, well, I'd considered trying to do a little DLT snipe through there, but um, yeah, Sabine was in hardcover with a shield, and it just the likelihood of actually doing anything to her at all seemed very, very low. And yeah. similar with the fleet troopers, so I thought uh, I'll go for positioning. Yeah, and for the very fact that it's a scoring round next round, next round is a, was also a factor, wasn't it? Mm. I mean, now they've got sort of line of sight on the objective. Yeah. You know, if I don't want it myself, I could at least you know, start right. shooting at anything that goes So through. I'm going to go to my stack, and we'll be... See what we get. It's another troop unit, so it will be the uh, veterans that are hiding in the building at the back. And we're going to uh, see what we can do. Right, guys. Uh, decided to do a little move, jump out the window with the uh, unit leader and leave majority. These still are, guys are still on the ground floor inside the building through this uh, window here. If that's actually... I can't actually see what I'm filming there, but we'll uh, hope you saw something useful. It looked all right. Yep, yeah, so... Um, we're going to go there for next turn, a bit, bit further forward, but still in cover. And a dodge there in case those speeder bikes come around and try and pick on us. Right, guys, over to the Imperials. Adam, do you know, are you going to your bag or are you going to... No, I'm going to go... Um, yeah, I'm going to go for the bag, sorry, because uh, I've got the uh, sniper... The uh, saboteur scouts so there. So which... you're, you're, you're pulling, going to pull a sniper rifle out of your back, your back pocket? Oh, you know, these scouts, you know, they've... they've uh, They're crafty buggers. Oh. Armed to the teeth and... Uh, have issues with small green creatures. Yes. Uh, not not gonna s <laughs> spoilers. Okay, yeah, so hated um, by all for it. Unit leader is behind the barricade, but I think with an angle of speed two is possible, just um round. Oh shifty shifty. Shifty, shifty. Rather than a speed shifty. one. I haven't got left him enough wiggle room there to be able to do that without having to cross the barrier. Wiggle it yeah, that looks like lovely move. I'll leave you to move that Adam and we'll be back in a second. Yeah, sure. Right then, guys, the saboteurs have moved up, so um, was that a, du as a double move there, Adam? Wasn't that it? was a double move, yeah, yeah just yeah, from, uh, sneaky, sneaky. I didn't round the buttons and, and... Not as far as they could have gone. They could have yeah. gone out behind the barricade, but um, as I was saying... The Sabine and um, um, Chewy... Um, they're safer just not being able to be yeah. seen at this point at all. Right, guys, I'm over to my stack, which um, is either going to be a trooper unit, which is dead. So, over there that goes, and then we've gone to the heavy, and we've got a, um, a compulsory move to do. It's, uh, you do realise this is going to miss every shot it takes today because it's Probably. freshly painted. Especially, it's well, pride it's, and joy. It's so. not as freshly painted as the commander, but it's all, also it's the um, the FD cannons first out as well. Mm. So we've got three units with new 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 paint job syndrome. Okay, guys, I'm going to do some some movement which because I can't really do it one handed. Um, actually, tell you what, I'm going to do. I'm going to pass the camera over. Right, guys, are the um, compulsory. Uh, a bit of an angle there, I think. There we go, back into the tool. If we'll I just borrow your uh, that's two, that's no good. 
So we can, oops, there. We'll just whack the uh, ATST. That's just one way of killing it. Uh, oh, yeah, we can. I think we're gonna just punish the death troopers. So everyone apart from the pistols in range. Um, so we have a shot there. So that we'll shoot over to the dice. So we'll shoot those death troopers. Right, guys. Uh, speeders uh, shooting at the death troopers and hopefully trying to get another one off. So we've got the medium blaster and the rocket launcher in uh, in range. So we've got four black and a rainbow for the rocket. And a name, because I, I forgot to say that earlier, because we had another action to do. So let's see what we get. Okay, so we've got four, five hits so far, and ooh, conveniently two dice that missed. Oh, look at that. That's fantastic. So one will go away for, for the cover, and that will leave us six six hits. Right, well, that could do it. I mean, not for want of effort with uh, these death troopers. Yep. There's been a lot of fire poured into them. So, here we go. Well, yep, that is, that Ooh, is them going. Oh, four, four but, players. Um, you know. I think John's working the other way around today. All right, guys, over to the Imperial activation, I think. Is, or is that all of them? Oh, no, you got your bikes. You've got the bikes. You've got the bikes, guys. Bikes. Right, over to the bikes. Right, guys, Adam's on to his last activation, which is the speeder bikes. And um, we've got a compulsory move to do. Um, I'm just looking at where I could go here. And I can't see so. a damn thing, so two seconds, guys. Yeah. Right, guys, the speeder mm. bikes are finally activated. Adam, do you, want to, do you want to take us through what's actually happening yeah, here? Yeah, we, we've just looked up uh, compulsory moves and that, just to be sure on this. Yeah. And basically, uh, because of the angle on my template, there yeah. is... It's, it's pivot point is right over the base. Right of the, over the base, so I can't or, cleverly avoid it. Uh, in either direction yeah. I had always assumed I'd be able to do that but looking at the clearance now there isn't any Yeah. so we've read up what happens if I can't perform a full move uh, that's compulsory and basically as far along the template as possible which is pretty much as um, scout bikers do in wooded areas and things yep. straight forward into the ATST and then I take a number of wounds equal to my maximum speed so literally the unit leader goes straight forward here then the unit takes three wounds which yep, is so speed, which the guy is behind there, will uh, basically hit your tree on So your it's his fault that he's dying for yeah. it. And then um, then I can do my normal activations. Now yeah. The problem, of course, here is that I can't move through the ATST. I've got two actions that I can take. So I could do a pivot, though. We yep. So we're going to check some ranges and we'll uh, be back in a second, guys. Right, guys, the speed bike has decided to do a pivot and a move up to the um, up there. And obviously, no more activations left because it took both of them to um, do his pivot first. Okay guys, and I think that's the end of the round, so we're going to take off some suppression. Um, I think we've just got one over there for your shore troopers. And, um, uh, uh, no, the shore troopers lost it. Oh, you lost start, it, didn't, didn't you? They? And uh, they're not, unit leader's not currently touching a uh, piece of terrain, so that's good that he's not got it. Yep. So the I death think, troopers are gone, um, so that's theirs, and there's none on my side. because yeah, I, think, I think all the suppression has, has been on units that died. Yeah. Right guys, we're going to go over to the command phase, and we'll see what cards come up um, in, in a second. Right guys, so it's the uh, command phase for round two. So I've gone for a free pip, a uh, legacy of Mandalore. Ooh. So it's I've a also been on two troopers. For a free pip, and it's Viz and Ooh. two units, and it so, is Imperial Discipline. So technically one of us should, depending on which turn it is, roll the dice. So um, Adam, here you go. Yeah, I, I can't remember which one it is, so we'll just do a shield. It's your... Yep, I'm after shield turn, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nope, it's mine. So, oh. so it's uh, I have priority this round. So we're going to go play some orders and we'll be back in a second to tell you where they've gone. Right guys, for round two I've issued some orders. We've gone Sabine, obviously issuing the orders to herself and two troops. So I've decided to go for Chewie and the commander. Uh, and because of that I get um, free uh, free tokens. So I've, got, um, I've gone for one aim and two dodges. Because she's issued to... Um, a li uh, at least what am I saying it's operatives and command so Adam what did you issue your commands to right well uh, Veers himself obviously uh, yep. the ATST and then the third one was to the shore troopers yep. who of course get an aim token for having an order issued to them they relayed it to the mortar as well which yep. straight away used comms relay to give it to the um, sabs as well Okay. So four for the price of three now. I'm going to go do some thinking and think, uh, think if I'm going to go to my back, uh, the stack or the um, one of the face-ups. I'll be back in a second, guys. Right, guys, it's had a little bit of a little brainstorm. Um, decided to, instead of giving it to Chewie, I decided to give it to the veterans, which then passed on an order to a emplacement trooper. Uh, so I've uh, one less token on Sabine, but um, I think 
four face-up tokens as opposed to three face-up tokens is, is probably best. Um, I've decided I'm going to go with my um, general and he's going to give um, take cover to somebody. I think we're going to give uh, take cover to... It's range one. So, could give it to them, them, them. Everyone's an option apart from the speeder, I think, and, and the gun. Right, I'm going to have a quick think about that, guys, and uh, we might have a move first. Right, guys, the um, officer uses electro binoculars to give a aim to the uh, veterans, who actually should have already had a... Oh, two seconds, guys. Right, uh, the rebel general uses binoculars to um, give spotter we spot one to the veterans to get an aim um i noticed they didn't have the dodge token from getting an order issue to and the link target array on the um uh fd laser cannon get on them an aim as well uh but then he did a, a speed one moved speed one speed two moved to jump over those uh, rebels and uh, make his way to the barricade after that so that's his activation over. Adam, after all that um, palaver, are you ready to um, take from your bag or do a face-up token? Uh, I haven't decided yet. Are oh, you going to do some thinking? Okay, oh, we're back in the tip when, when Adam's had a bit of time to think after my, my immaculate move that was um, without any issues whatsoever or, or pause no, or no, thoughts. Not or at all. Over an hour in. Right, back yeah. in a second. Right, guys, General Veer's activation. Adam, do you want to take us through what you've done? Yeah, so um, I already knew... Um, I was in range to do this, uh, but just having a little look at it, um, just roughly estimating where a speed two move would get him, with Spotter I wouldn't have been able to give it to anything over here. Yeah. So um, I felt there was no point moving him over here to try, to try and do that, because I, I more or less want him where he is at the moment. So, stayed where I am, did Spotter three with the electro binoculars, and you can see the Stormtroopers, the ATST, and that lone speeder bike. Um, as it's down to half power, needs a bit of firepower boost. Yeah, so it's and you took a dodge and then as well. Took a dodge on Veers, just keeping there, just in case anything gets um, gets ideas about him um, yeah. or gets close enough to it. I mean, with an ATST to walk for it's less likely, but you know. Yeah. Right. I'm going to go over to my my um, activation. The second guy. So we're back in the two. Right, guys. I've decided to go activate the FD laser cannon, and um, I'm going to shoot the uh, ATST. And I've got a free action to recover my uh, barrage generator, so I want to do that. Um, I'm also going to then tap it straight away again because I want an extra two dice into a pull. And we're going to pop at that um, uh, ATST and see if we can get some uh, damage through before he um, possibly dodges or does something like that. Right, so we're going to go over to the dice and see what happens. Right, guys, we've got the FD laser cannon shooting at the ATST, see if we can pop a few wounds off. Uh, before he gets a chance to dodge. I've got a name because of link target and array. So we've got five black and two white for the barrage generator that I'm tapping again. See what we get. Impact two. Uh, just the two crits because of um, impact and uh, that will be two saves for you, Adam. Do the rest of it get bounced off your armour. Are you aiming? Oh, good point. Thank you. Nope, still no more, no more. So two white saves that surge. Here we go. So one goes through. Right. Woohoo! Ten left. Yay. Right, guys, Imperial activation time. Right, guys, the ATST has just uh, shuffled up, which has gained another aim token. And what are you going to do with your ATST, Adam? It is going to fire absolutely everything at Sabine. Yep, Sabine is getting the target of the ire of everyone else. Okay, guys, over to the dice pool and see what happens. Right, guys, it's uh, the ATST firing at Sabine uh, with triple rainbow and uh, two aim tokens. Let's see what happens. Here we go, then. First roll of the dice. Ooh, not bad. Uh, so that's three crits or four crits already. Let's put them over there. Um, an ordinary hit. Do you search the hit? I don't think I search the hit. I think I search the block because it's got white defence. So, no, I don't search to hit. So you can, I, I didn't give them, I, I gave it the pilot that allows me to... Uh, you can yeah. spend one dot, one aim token at a time if you want to... Uh, uh, I will be doing that, yeah. To uh, so, re-roll uh, the, the optimum dice if you want. Yeah, so, so basically... What, one, aim one, aim, one aim to re-roll those two, I the, imagine? Uh, well, that doesn't do anything. I know, so you might have to re-roll re it. Those two, yeah. yeah. There we go. First aim. Hit, Another so hit. So that was a, that was a crit there. Four yeah. crits and two hits now, is it? And then the other aim. So 
So just two more hits there it yeah. was. So we've got a total of so, four crits and three hits before uh, anything Cover, clever. cover. No, no cover. What am I saying? There's no cover. Not from that end. <laughs> Dodge. That's what the work was. Is that the shield? No, Not that's the, that's the dodge. Okay. Uh, and then it'll leave me with six saves to do. So I'm going to take, uh, take one on the, on the shield token. Yeah. Uh, so, that'll leave, so that'll be basically one success. Okay, yeah. And that'll leave uh, five to roll. Okay, uh, good. So if I just clear mine out of the way then. Yeah, let's get my shield token back to me. And that failed. So five to roll. Yeah, so I might as well clear that one out of the way because it's uh, effectively done. And she's passed all but one because she surges to save. So oh. one one wound on Sabine. And suppression. Indeed. Is it suppressive or just suppression? Uh, I think it's just suppression. I, okay. The water is the suppressive, I think. Right, guys, over to the Rebels activation. All right, then, Rebel activation for round two in five, four, three. Right, guys, it's the Rebel activation time. Um, Sabine's got a few less tokens and a few more tokens there, so I decided I'm going to go to my stack. So first one is a trooper unit, which I think is going to have to be the Rebel um, troopers, because that's the only trooper I've got <laughs> available. Mm -hmm. So it kind of works it out. So I'm going to go do some uh, measuring and some movement, and we'll be back in a second once I've done that. Right, guys, the fleet troopers have made a speed two move round round the inside of that barricade wall, wall and we're going to have a bit of a crisp. Uh, we're in range two of the ATST, so we're going to go crit fishing. So back in a tick with the dice ball. Right, guys, it's the fleet troopers shooting at the ATST for a bit of crit fishing because it's the only thing in range. Let's see what we get. Can we get some crits? Ah, uh, we get one, one crit. With all those dice, with all those surges to hit, and uh, all get well, that was a mock dice. So just the one save for the ATST. There you go. Can you do exactly the same as the FD laser cannon? No. I'm okay. Okay. Saved and not a no diet. No um, whatever I was going to say. Okay, guys, over <laughs> to the Imperials. Right, guys, it's the Imperial activation time. Adam, you going to your bag? Going to the bag. Right. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Let's see what we get and find the blocky bag. Ah, it's a trooper unit. Do you know what you're going for? I'd well, imagine it has, time uh, it's probably the see. stormtroopers. I would say probably before they start losing or or the uh, emplacement. Hmm. I think actually at this stage. So we've got the stormtroopers over here or the emplacement over there. To, uh, I think it's going to be the emplacement. There we right. go. Do you know what you're doing or do you want to come back to uh, it? Pretty much I know what I'm doing. Really, it's going to be a... Hop over the barricade. Hop over know. the barricade and then... Uh, actually... I might have to do a pivot first and then hop over the barricade because... Uh, uh, I think you might, you, you, might get, you might get a free pivot with your... Um... Well, let's have a look. On my card, it says Mortar Trooper has full pivot. So... Uh, the full pivot, not full um... pivot. So I can, I have to do that pivot first. I mean, it doesn't matter because they're, they're only going to go. And... Right, guys, we just uh, discovered that the 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 mortar troop definitely does have um, reposition, so you can do a free pivot before his movement or after his movement. So yeah, so I don't have to move there and then. Yeah, try and... we'll come back once you finish doing the movement, guys. All right, guys, the mortars um, do a hop over the barricades and then a bit of a pivot shifty and his his. Advance slightly around the so, corner. Double move. Double move. It might actually get some shooting done in the next round. So I'm going to go to my stack and we're going to see what we've got. We've got the heavy. So we're going to do the, um, the speeder and see where we end up. Okay, guys, we've got a compulsory move to do. I'll be back in a second. Right, guys, the compulsory move has got the speeder over here. Um, we're going to have a bit of a shooting. First, we're going to shoot the ATST uh, with the rocket launcher. And then we're going to shoot the Stormtroopers with the medium blast. Unfortunately, the pistol is just out of range, so he can't uh, add his two white dice to the um, show. So we're going to have a... We've had also gone for a dodge for the other action. And we're going to see what happens. Right, guys, so we've got medium blast at the, at the Stormtroopers and a rocket at the ATST. So we've got four blacks from the medium blast at the uh, Stormtroopers. See what we get. Ah, two hits and a crit, and you are in the open. So, just three saves for the Stormtroopers. Here we go, then. Oh, they saved all of them. Just that a suppression. suppression. And let's see if we can get a, some damage from the rocket onto the ATST. 
Uh, we've got a surge to hit, which will get, convert then to a critical because of the impact. So how many is that? Just one? Two, two damage through onto the ATSD. Okay, let's uh, try and block it then. This time they stick. There two through. Good old shape. Total charge. of three now. Yeah. So, on to the Imperial. Right then, Adam, are you going to your bag or are you going to go for your face ups? I've gone for the Shore Troopers. So, we've got the Shore Troopers, and what we're going to do over here? Uh, it's going to be at least a move and then maybe a shoot or a second move, depending on whether they can do anything useful with it. Yep. So, we'll just have a look now and see. I think. Yep, you're going to get somewhere, something quite useful. You've got um, you'll have line of sight to Sabine and uh, probably even the, even the Scout. Fleet Troopers. Ah, you got line of sight to quite a few units there. Take your pick. I think what I'm going to do is just make sure I've got one side with everyone. That's a unit leader anyway, isn't it? So, popping forwards. Anyway, it looks good. Yeah, nice little um, formation. It's fine. Uh, so I've already got an aim from uh, being issued an order. So they are going to... I can't eyeball another move here. Let's just see where, where it. Hmm. I don't think another move would leave me in range one of the objective token here. Mm, you might get it. It'd be... But it's close, isn't it? Let me yeah. see. So that's. Oh, I think it's too tactical. I think I'd be better off shooting at Sabine, possibly. Okay. Check range three from the units. Yeah, you've got range. So that's the whole squad then, yep. including the T21. Yep, so everything at Sabine with everyone Everyone's shooting Sabine. Yeah. So all good on the bandwagon. Okay guys, over to the dice. Right guys, Shore Troopers are shooting Sabine with uh, six black and two white. Six black, two white, critical, critical one. one. With an aim. See what we get. There we go. Okay, Ooh. so, so far, Critical one not needed, two crits there already. One hit. One hit, which will at the moment be burnt, but I've still got plenty to spend the aim on, so, so. aim goes and I'll reroll two blacks there. Let's get rid of these two, three even. There we go. For the aim token, uh, so that's that's critical one. Oh, critical one. So that's four Good. crits. So the, um, the hit will go for cover. And four go through. Hopefully not. Let's hope. The ATST couldn't do it, can the Shore Troopers? Right, let's see what Sabine does. Dies. Yes, Shaw Troopers, thank you. Oh, great. Right, there goes Sabine, that's uh, fantastic. Just by Someone's luck. getting a promotion. Okay, over to the Rebels. Right, guys, after that, that blow, that hammer blow, which was losing Sabine like that, was um, we're going to the stack, which is Chewy. And we're going to try and uh, redeem some some um, effort for that. I'm going to go over and have a puppy and aim and a shot at those Shaw Troopers. Just going to check some ranges and we'll be back in a second. Right then, Chewbacca's going to try and get some revenge. He's actually he's in range of the Shore Troopers, so we've got two red, two white at the Shore Troopers with an aim and then heavy cover. Uh, we've got, uh, I think, a hit and a crit, because I think Chewie surges to crits. Ooh, nice. And another crit from the uh, white dice reroll. So we've got two going through the co uh, after the cover's taken off. Any pierce? Uh, pierce one. So I'm going to make both of these, two and there's there's one guy. Yeah. Here we go then. Uh, now I'm losing two. Wonderful. That's the pierce there. Okay. Too short. There's some revenge coming through. And so that's Chewie, does it? Over to the Imperials. Oh. Right, guys. After Chewie got a little bit of uh, measure of revenge there. Um, Adam, do you know what you're doing? Yeah, I am going to go to the bag for this next one. Okay. So, uh, lift it over there. there we go. Smart move. Just hide it few, for yourself. A few left in here, but uh, it is... Uh, support. Support is one of the uh, speeder bike units. So I think what I'll do is I'll bring up the one that's got more power, more firepower at this point. So yep. this uh, unit back here, just not the building a bit there. So it's got a compulsory to do first, and then we'll see where it stands after that. Right, I'll let you use some movement, and we'll come back in a second. Right, guys, the um, speeder bikes have just done their compulsory move, and it was uh, just enough to bring them in range of the fleet troopers. So is it going to have an aim and a shot over the barricades into the fleet troopers, over to the dice. Right guys, the speeder bike shooting into the fleet troopers with double rainbow and an aim, see what happens. Here we go then, first. Oh, uh, five hits. Yeah, uh, well, um, so far. Spend the aim, see if we can get one on the uh, last white dice. Can yep, do, yep. six hits. So, two go to cover. That leaves you with four. Leaves four, 
and we've got four white. And that's two saved, two failed. I think I'll have to start using white dice instead of red dice. Right, guys, gonna take two off and we'll go over to my activation. Right, guys, it's the activation for the rebels again. Uh, only what you left is the veterans that are hanging around this building. So I'm gonna have a bit of uh, measuring and see what we're gonna do. Right, guys, the rebel veterans have uh, decided to advance into range of the ATST and see if we can pop some more wounds off it before it um, does any more shenanigans next turn. Okay, guys, over to the dice. Back at it. Right guys, the veterans are going to shoot the ATST uh, so with an aim token. Five black, four white, and critical two. See if we get some useful. And we don't really get anything useful, so they're going to be useless. We've got one damage so far, and we're going to. Don't really matter which dice we re roll. Nope, just the one damage. Okay, no surges rolled, or crits. And you've saved it. Okay, guys, I think that's mine done. Any more for you, Adam? Uh, yeah, so, I've got three more. Wow, so, uh, okay. Like Over to you. Right, guys, it's the Imperial activation for round two. What, Adam, what are you doing? Are you going to do a goodie bag or are you going to do your saboteurs? Um, well, I've got two left in the bag, which are these Stormtroopers and this lone bike up here. Yeah. And I've got the Sabs, who I've got con full control over. I think I'm going to remove the random element from my final decision making by yeah. taking a random one first. Okay. That gives me full control of the last two. Well, it's, it's all you now, because I've, I've... It is um, all me, it's just the order that matters, yeah. is it? Um, you know, that one's got suppression on it, so yeah. what I do with them matters. And see, it is, I just saw that flash at me there. Stormtroopers. So, this is important now, because I need to see if I roll that suppression Yeah, see first. if I roll one off. You do? I do. Right, so that means I get two actions, and it's likely to be a double move, because I know that there's nothing shooting back at them, and they do need to be on that objective to... At least balance you out. Yeah. Okay, so let's do first move. It's not a speed free. That would be insanely quick. Okay, so that. Yeah, well, I think he's got it. Yeah, so we're we'll just. Uh, I might try and occupy the same sort of position as the Death Troopers, or we'll just put them out there, I think, today. That's fine. So just cover them around here. Right. I think it's going to be a sort of a... I don't need to be quite that far forward to do it. There we go. That'll do. Right then. Are you going... Touching there in case I get any suppression later. Yep. And then... Uh, and they it... did double move. So the aim from uh, Veers isn't going to come into it, but... If they'd been forced to stand and shoot, the aim would have been useful. Yep. So, so what's next? Ba bag or off? Or, or, um, right, well, now I know that they're safe on there. Um, let's um, let's bring the sabs round and see what they can do. So they're going to activate next. Um, just in case I want to throw a bomb and I want it to detonate before yeah. the speeder bike might get caught by it. So flipping their token and I'm going to move them around the corner. So I might want to pause for a moment. Okay, well, while he comes around the table. Right, guys, just as that little table um, walk was completed, we're going around the corner. Yep, so pretty much around the corner here. Uh, so hopefully there. I'm just thinking, do I want to take the full move? Actually, I don't need to take the full move because I can still be in range of the, the token and I can still yeah. throw a bomb, which is important. So he'll go to there. Yep. Now I'll go here, the other guy with range one. Um, just behind the barricade. Very nice. Very nice, yeah. Getting better at using these guys. Yep. And then as my other action, it's um, within range one, is uh, dropping a bomb. Okay. Which is... Uh, I'll just borrow one of your... Have you glued these together or something? <laughs> okay, so I drop it sort of like there and then detonate it straight away. Which will get you as well. That would do, wouldn't it? So maybe if I just, or maybe just put it there so that I can get Chewy later. I think having one near the objective is useful. Yep. So I will, I will drop one there. Okay. And then that's them done. All right then, we'll um, come back when that's been placed. Right, guys, he's dropped his bomb down there, and it's now time for the speed about to um, do some so stuff. I mean, technically, this is in the bag, so let's yeah. just you know do it right here. So that's uh, out there. Uh, so speed bike has a compulsory to do, which is speed free, and then after that we'll see where it ends up. So I'm thinking, 
change my angle, I'll maybe stay on the roof actually. And do a sharper angle there, that's fine. The speed frame I'm just going to do is like a, a nice sharp turn there. Yeah. And end up there. Okay, so now I'm there. I've already got an aim. So, from Veers, thank you, Veers. Right then, do you know who we're going at? Well, I, I might take another aim because that was a compulsory move, and yep. then shoot down at, uh, I've got impact one, so I've already got that objective, I might try and start putting some holes on your speeder. Okie dokie. Yeah, okay, that's what I'll do. Right guys, it's the speeder bike shooting time at the um, land speeder. We've got two aims from the speeder and a dodge on the speeder, land speeder, oh, it's too many speeders. Anyway, well, uh, rainbow for the speeder bike at me. Yep, here we go. Uh, you surged to hit, I'm assuming? Uh, surged to hit, yeah, not to crit or anything. So at the moment, no, neither of them have actually yeah, not, no damage. done anything. So let's oh, you got impact one, haven't you? Uh, impact one, yes. Yeah, so oh, but, oh but it comes off before... Um, cover comes off before uh, impact does. Right, so at the moment, I might as well just go for fish for crits again. So, yeah, so reroll one. Because you might fail and reroll two more dice. Hmm. So you didn't want to am, I, am I am I worse off by just rolling rerolling two now? No, so re -roll, I'm saying yeah. rather than rerolling three. So I thought you said reroll one, as in reroll. Ah, one number dice. one, number one, not one dice. Yeah. No, still no crits, and another one. Another, another one. one. And still no crits. No. So Never co mind. Co co cover worm will take that off. Um... Yeah, it was worth a try. Yeah. Okay, guys. I think that was the last unit, so yeah, we're on to, yeah. onto some tidying up, and um, we're on to. Command cards. Right, guys, back into the command phase for turn three. I've gone for one pip sabotage communications. Ooh. Yep, so one less activation for you if you've got more than one. Uh, oh, well, actually, uh, I've gone for maximum one. firepower. So. Never mind, never mind. That's why I didn't like that character. It's always only partially useful sometimes. Okay, guys, on to. Oh, we need to roll off, don't we? So we do. You can I'll, do the roll this time. I'll get the. On a blank, I get it. On him. Nope, you get it. Okay, so... Or, or a block, should I say. Yeah. All right, let's go and put some uh, order tokens out then. Okay, open up. Right, guys, I've issued my one order to uh, Chewbacca, uh, as it's the only op order um, opportunity I have left that I could do. To. And obviously, Veer's right at the back has been... Just there. Just there. So issued order to himself. Are you um, going to go for your bag, or are you going to go for Veer's, Adam? Uh, I think I'll probably go for Veer's straight away, but I'm just going to check a range before I do, because it's okay. uh, range four to... Back in a second when we can actually see what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. Right, guys. Uh, Adam, what's Veer's doing, then? Right, well, we've just been checking the range here. We had a discussion about whether you get cover from the fact that I'm firing. We've got line of sight here. Yeah. But um, it's sure you've got cover. Yeah, but... We worked out it doesn't matter because the speeder naturally has cover too, which is what I'm after. So. Yeah, because of the pilot I've got but as well. I have to be at least range four to infinite. So at the moment, I'm too close to you to use it on you. But uh, No, as range four is then it's no, and it's no range three. Okay, so I'm actually all right there if I yeah. don't need to move, which is great. So I will probably take an... Um, now, I can use spotter to give out aim tokens. Yeah. And then maybe take an aim on myself as well, I'm thinking. Yep, so you that's can do that. what I will do, probably. So spotter is range one. Um, so I think it's probably just your, the ATST. Probably the yes, ATST, uh, and, yeah, and myself. But then I can give myself an aim action as well. Yes. For two aim tokens. And okay. then fire the attack at the end of my round. So that's okay, what okay. So that's what we're doing. Two, two aims for Veers, one for um, the uh, ATST and the uh, uh, maximum firepower on the land speed. So over to the dice once we've done the counters. Actually... Right, guys, we've got Veers doing maximum firepower against the land speeder. We've got two aims to do, and he's got four red. And we've impact two. Impact two, yes, that's right. right. Here we go then. First round of shooting. Okay, okay. well, that's, do you no, search your Actually, let's look at the. It's on the card itself, isn't it? For the. Um... Well, if, it's, 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 if you search. If you search no, you don't search. You search the crit. So yeah. Veers searches the crit, yeah. yeah. So. There's a crit there. Yeah, so we get one crit, which which my armor can't, uh, can't stop, but the two dodges will get rid of those. Uh, at the moment. At the moment, unless you I could go off. fishing. Yeah, you could go fishing. For surges. Um, so at the moment, you're making one save, one save from the crit. Is yeah. that right? So yeah. I'm, I'm you've blocking. got armor as well, haven't yeah. you? So I might as well yeah. go crit fishing. Oh, first one, first fish. Nope. No, nope. and I'll do it again. Okay, so cover will take two. 
Arm will take one, leaving one save. Yep. Impact. Oh, right, hang on. Impact. Yeah, the cover will take, cover will take two. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. You're right. Arm will go. Then, then impact will go over armor. So that's uh, two saves, sorry. Two saves, okay. Yep. My bad. My bad. And I've saved both of them. Oh. I think. Uh, double check out if you search to save before I, I do. Thanks for Ah, uh, never mind. Right then, so. It's worth a try. Yep. Over to my activation. Right, guys. Two back is going to have a, have a move. And then. I'm going to unload onto those saboteur, saboteurs before they get a chance to do some more um, shenanigans. Okay, guys. Over to the dice. Right, guys. Uh. Adam has decided not to detonate his mine because it's going to get him as well. And so I'm going to shoot two red, two white at the saboteurs. Hopefully we get some crits to get through that cover. Uh, we surge to crits, so that's one surge. One will go away for cover, so that's two hits and pierce one. Two saves for you, please. Oh, that could be bad. Yes, oh, indeed. So one of them. Pierce will knock that will go off. So That's both, the unit. Gone. I should have detonated. I didn't realise his attack was that good. Okay, guys. Over to the Imperials. Right, guys. After Chewie saves his own bacon by killing the guys that can detonate that mine, um, it's over to Adam with a bag. Adam, what we yep. got, what, what we getting? So everything that's turned out is from the bag. Yep. So uh, here we are. We have... Ah, it's the heavy oh dear, it's the ATST. It's the ATST. ATST. That's actually quite convenient. It's time to take cover, guys. Oh, we're back it in is, it. yeah. It is already got an aim and I'll just have to think about what I want to do with this. Yep, we're gonna back in a second once you've decided. Alright, Adam, so what are you doing with your ATST? Right, well I'm gonna unload everything at these uh Rebel Veterans. Rebel Veterans. Oh. I'm in range three of them, which means I'm also in range four. I'm gonna stay where I am, I'm gonna take another aim. And yep. I'm going to fire at them. So there's an aim okay. from Veers and an aim from itself. Okie dokie, at the veterans. Yeah. Right, guys, the ATST is going to unload into those poor rebel veterans and uh, with all those triple rainbows. Yep, here we go then. Two aims to support this. So here we go. First round of firing. And that is, we, we've just checked from the ATST's point of view and they are in the open. Yeah, so four so hits. Four hits. Uh, spend first aim and we'll re roll the two blacks. Yeah, it takes you six, and then, and then second aim, we roll two of the whites. Nope, so just six. Oh, white dice, yeah. Yep, six damage onto the veterans. Hey, two dead. Done a suppression, so that's quite lucky for me, I think. I like that. That's quite lucky, yeah. Uh, over to my activation. Right, guys, after that... Um, Nice bit of saving from the veterans. We're over to the stack again, and we've got a heavy option. So it is the speeder. Uh, I'm going to see where my um, compulsory oh, move sorry. takes me, and then we'll be back in a second. Right, guys, the compulsory move took me to there. Uh, decided to have a bit of a, a blast at everything. The medium blast at the front is going over to those uh, speeder bikes. Um, the driver is going to shoot his pistol. Uh, the stormtroopers <laughs> and yeah. the rocket gunner is going to shoot his rocket at the ATST. Uh, unless actually I can see that. Oh, you'll be in cover too. Yeah, we'll shoot the. Uh, the stick with what I said. Okay, guys, over to the dice. Right, guys, land speed is shooting. We're going to start with the driver's pistol at the stormtroopers for two white. See if we get anything. We do, we get one hit. That's, uh, that's I'm happy already if he saves it. No, never mind. Yeah, but suppression. That's a uh, that'll do me for now. Uh, then we're gonna have the uh, rocket launcher at the ATST. Bit of a rainbow action. There we go. And that will be a surge to a hit, which will then convert to criticals because of impact two. So three damage through. Oh, okay. Here we go then. Surging to block here to the ATST. Uh, no three go through again. Wonderful. It's piling up now. And then the medium blaster at that uh, pair of speeder bikes. See if we can get some more damage. Ah, we've got two hits after a surge there. And reroll the misses for the, for the aim token. Doesn't get anything. So just two, which will one will get knocked off the cover. 
So one white dice. One save. That does uh, that that block. So yeah. Uh, okay, so that's that's quite a, a successful activation, I'd say. But uh, could be worse, could be better. But never mind. Okay, guys, on to the Imperials. Right, guys, after the um, speeder um, shared the love around there, we uh, yeah. Imperials are going back to the bag. So Adam, what have we got in the bag? Tokens. You know, I thought we just realised we didn't do. We didn't do an intro. <laughs> oh, I felt like at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, they won't know. Ah, uh, continuity. Yeah. Right, guy. What, what, Adam? What do we get? We got. Oh, it's troops. So it's is it troops. storm troopers or shore troopers, Adam? Well, I'm inclined to do the mm, the shore troopers got better shooting and they're still alive at the moment. So I think while there's still three of them left, and it's an extra black dice at least, I'm going to yeah. see if I can roll their suppression off and I'm going to activate them. Okay, so so the shore troopers. Here we go. Can yeah. I block, drop that suppression off them? Yep, over there, see if we get it. We don't. No. So, so just shooting them. Just one action. No aims. Any, any choice of targets just yet? Uh, well, let's have a look. We've got a range free here. So uh, can I reach Chewba Chewie? Chewbacca. Can I reach the unit? Or the short. Or the, no, you're the short troopers, the, the fleet troopers. I'll go for the fleet troopers. Okay. Let's do it. And I think. Um, so that's going to be. May well, Four black, two white. Yep, so we'll just take cover in a second, guys, and we'll let you know when we go to the dice. Right, guys, the shore troopers have um, unfortunately just got a, um, a slightly obscured shot, so uh, we've got cover on the, on the uh, fleet troopers behind the barricade. So four black, two white. And the critical cri cri one. Critical one, okay. Yep. Here we go, then. See what we get. Ooh, so two crits, two crits three crits. And a surge, so that, turns to a crit. That will go away for cover. Gone, so just three crits, effectively. Right. Not bad. That's not bad at all. Right, For three people. That's quite good. Oh, we save one, two down. Okay, that's actually Over what to my you'd activation. Expect. Right, guys, rebel activation time. So back to the stack. Oh, okay. It's the commander. Oh, great, that's a bit late, but never mind. Uh, right then, let's, let's give some. Let's see here where we can get some tokens and probably um, pop a stormtrooper if we can try. Okay, guys, back in the tick. Right guys, not very much happening here for the officer. Decided to inspire one off the uh, veterans. Uh, you spot her from the binoculars to give the veterans a name and uh, take cover from these onto the uh, fleet troopers to give them a dodge. So that's him done. Over to the um, Imperials. Do you know what you're doing, Adam? Well, I'm going to draw from the bag, so then we'll, uh, we'll think about it then. Uh, it is... Ah, oh, we got support, so it's a speeder bike. So, so we're, are we going for the a single or a double? Unit or the single. Uh, well, I'm thinking about what's likely to shoot back at me here. Chewie's been... Those fleet troopers haven't been yet, so it might be worth you know, having a pop at them. And those troopers at the back there haven't been yet, so... The compulsory movements are taking account as well. Uh, I think... This one's more vulnerable to being killed off the board, so maybe this one first, and maybe just eliminate something nearby while he still can. So yeah, I'm going to activate this one up here. Okay guys, we're going to come back when he's done his movement. Right guys, the speeder bike's done his compulsory move down there. Uh, he decided to take an aim and then he's going to shoot at the fleet troopers. So we're going to go over to the dice of that, guys. Back in a second. Right guys, speeder bike shooting the fleet troopers. We've got cover one because of suppression and a dodge tail. So see what so if see what happens. Let's see if we can get some crits here as well. well one crit, spend the aim for the uh, other two here. Yep. Best uh, Oh there we go, it surges to hit, Which so that'll go. It, so just the two crits there at the moment. Right, so I can't unfortunately spend a, uh, a dodge, unfortunately, so two saves. That's the unit wiped, unfortunately. Right, Let's guys, speak. over to the Rebels. Right, guys, it's Rebel activation time. See what we've got. It is support, so it's the FD laser cannon. This could hurt. Um, we've got five wounds remaining on the on the ATST. Um, while I don't, th I think it'd be nice to um, knock a few more wounds off. I think it's more um, important to get rid of some troops. So I think we're going to recover to get the barrage generator back. And uh, stormtroopers would be in the open over there, and the so would the uh, would the shore troopers. 
Right, I'm going to have a quick think about which one I'm going to shoot at, and then we'll let you know when we go to the dice. Right, guys, after checking range, the Stormtrooper was the only option anyway. I could have shoot with sort of speed about, but I, I think I'd rather go for the unit that's not activated yet. So they ha do have one suppression token, so they've got light cover. Um, and we've, you, we're, we're going to tap the, um, the barrage generator as well again, so get those extra two white. So see what we get. Oh, good, that's... Uh, Takes us to three hits and uh, unfortunately with no re rolls. Three saves, yes. Yeah, three saves for the stormtroopers. That was suppressive though, wasn't it? Yeah, so, suppressive though. So we got, so got be two suppression tip. regardless of what happens now. All saves. Two suppression though. Wonderful. All right, then over to the Imperials, guys. Right then, guys, after that uh, impressive display of shooting, which just really resulted in the, the stormtroopers getting the, the heads down a bit, what we're we doing, Adam? Uh, well, it's the bag again. Yeah. So the bag. See. see who we got. It's the elites. Yeah, which is the death troopers or the scouts, which, which have are dead. Gone, so so I have to draw again. It's troops, so stormtroopers, I imagine. Or the mortar. Or the mortar. So which yeah. one? Which one are we going for? Uh, let's see. Um, I'll go for the stormtroopers. Let's let's see what they okay, can. So, so firstly, do. free suppression to roll off. Let's uh, do that over here near them. You've rolled, rolled off, off one. one, so down to so two. two. And then one action, which will probably involve shooting. Yep. Because they're stormtroopers. So. And that's what they don't do best. That is, they, they, there's nothing so precise as a stormtrooper. An imperial stormtrooper. So, just uh, flip that there. Range three. Probably, it's likely going to be your uh, squad there. Try and get rid of them now. Yep. So they're all in range, so just everything firing at them. Obviously okay. One action, so not Obviously the, um, the vehicle of the speed will give the, the unit behind uh, soft cover, so um, that'll be for cover one. Right guys, onto the dice. Right guys, Stormtroopers shooting the Rebel Veterans. Cover one, and uh, four white, is it four? It's a full four, standard four, four, four Storm white and, uh, Stormtrooper loadout here, yeah, red. four white, two, two, white. two red. What, four white, said, two what, red. What, what, what he said, not what I said. You've anyway. got me questioning whether I've said the right thing now. Okay, let's say it again. Four white, two red. Yeah. No token support because they're suppressed. And that is uh, search to search hit. hit. So, so it's, um, but you had cover one. So right. Cover one, so one will go away, leaving three. Leaving three, three will do. I'll take three. Oh, we saved two. Fantastic. One down. And a suppression. And a suppression, obviously. Right. Over to me. Right, guys. Act my activation time. Over to the stack. And it's troopers, because that's Ooh. all I've got left. So it will be the Rebel Veterans. And if you could pass me a white dice. So. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to go. Got, got on one. Got one. See if they clear it. We don't. They don't. So okay, that's one activation. Right. And I'm probably going to shoot. Oh, it's good we've already got an aim from earlier. So. I think we might have just to return to fire at the stormtroopers. We'll have a quick range, check of ranges and we'll uh, see what we can shoot. Right guys, just um, realised that the repulsive vehicles can't actually offer cover to a vehicle that's stuff behind them or, or, or anything at all. So I've got one more save to take on my rebel veterans. So let's do that now. That's one more and saved. It so it's, it's okay in the end. So we got there in the end. We did it right, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, on with the actions. Right, guys, uh, it's the uh, shooting for the Rebel Veterans. We're going to try again the ATST. Uh, two black, four white with an aim. Oh, get in. Ooh, so we've got two, two crits and uh, a, a surge, which will go to a crit, the, crit, the critical two on the, on the, um, the Doofa gun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we can spend the aim see if we get, get some that more. That is now what it's called. It is. A, oh, we get another crit. Four crits. Four right, crits. I'll just pick up my save dice, shall I? Or shall I just pick up the models? Here we go. Da, 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 da. White ones, please. Thank you. What's this at? Sorry. The ATST. Oh, it's the ATST, of course. Right. That is going nicely. There we go. So, here we go. Uh, you save two of you. Half and half. That's not that's bad. Not that's. Bad. that's um, one I would expect to say. Yep, so two through, and I think that's our threshold. That is eight, which is my threshold, so we're going to have to see what happens now. Right, we're going to look up what the... Um, tell you what, do you roll your red dice and then we'll lock it up? We'll roll red dice and then we'll look it up. Yep. Yeah, we get a bit of excitement here, a bit of mystery. It is 
A blank. A blank. Uh, whatever that is. Not we're, a weapon. We're, we're, we're gonna, not be a weapon. We're going to look that up and we'll let you know, guys. Right, guys, we just realised that's... Um, the vehicle disabled is a blank result, so it'll cost him two moves to move if he wants to, but other than that, he's unaffected. Okay, guys, on to the Imperial actions. Right then, uh, next Imperial activation. Adam, to, to your bag, is it? Well, it has to be, yeah. Uh, I've only got two left, though. Uh, I know it's either going to be the mortar or the uh, speeder bikes, so let's yeah. have a look at what it is. Open to fate here, it is the speeder bikes. Okay, good. I'll let you do your movement, and we'll come back in a second. Let's we'll get save the compulsory moves. out of the way, yeah. Right, guys, the um, compulsory move has taken him to the other side of the uh, barricades and he's decided to do an aim and shoot somebody. So, who are you shooting? I'm going to shoot your rebel officer there. Okay, so over to the dice. Right, guys, the speed of bikes are shooting at the officer. Let's see if he survives. Here we go. Oh, okay, he's got a good chance. Is there. That he's got a cop there, or has it actually landed? Uh, have to do the old. Uh... No, it's a uh, cop dice. So, re roll that one yeah. just now. Yeah, okay. Uh, um, spend the aim. Yep. So. And then. One of each. Yep. So that's four. Four hits. And I'm in the open, unfortunately. Aren't I? Uh, yeah. At that angle. Oh, oh you might be going through Chewy. Possibly. Oh no, no, Chewy, Chewy doesn't give me cover. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's uh, wishful thinking. Though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so was it three? Did I get four? Wow. I'll tell you what. Let, let me just check range for Guardian. Let's, let's, let's see. Yeah, you might want to want to start jump. using some of these abilities you've got here. Yeah, which I should have probably used ages ago. No, he's not in range of Guardian, unfortunately. No idea. Because so I don't really want four. Chewy taking wounds until I start shooting at him. Yeah. So. Four. Just tell me what happens when he gets angry. Four saves for uh, the officer. Let's see if he can save one and stay alive. Oh, he saves two. I'm impressed. Oh, that's right. Half dead, and but half alive. Right, guys. Um, my last activation is the rebel uh, fleet troopers, which are dead. So it's over to Adam, so we will show you that in a second. Right, then. Uh, Imperial activation in five, four, three. Right, guys, last Imperial activation for this round. Adam's going back to his bag. Yeah, I mean, there's no mystery here. I know yeah, just, just the, the, mortar. the mortar. There we go. Yeah, so, so, so who's he going to pick on? Well, I'm thinking about, obviously, if I can see stuff from where I am. That's the, the first thing. I've got plenty, and I've got Ark on Chewie, and, but I think Chewie and the officer are the only things I've got range to. Have I got range to that officer there? Uh, yes, you have. Right, I might continue picking on him then, because I... Yeah. And uh, Chewie's in range three, so I could pick Chewie as well. Unfortunately, I think I'm in the open unless the bike gives cover, but I'm not too sure. If Repulsor it does. vehicle does not. Which well, we just well done. Anyway, well done. So I, the... I'm remembering rules. Look at me. Well done. Well <laughs> done. Oh, I've got, I've got I've got light cover because of suppression. Yeah. yeah here we go. Well, I'll, I'll take an aim and just fire the mortar at. That okay, more, mortar now. at that rebel officer. He's not having a good day. Right, yeah. guys. In a bit. In a second. Right, guys. Then. The fleet trooper mortar is shooting at the vet at the officer for light cover because of the suppression counter. Let's see what we Just get. Just found him in range. Three white. Yep, three white. Here we go. Got uh, one hit. Spend the aim and roll those two again. See if we can push something through here. Uh, did he surge? Uh, I don't think short trooper things do surge naturally. So, uh, oh, well, it's critical one though. So yeah, that's crit. So it's get one. One will go through because of a uh, critical one. Uh, one will get taken off for the, the cover, so one save. Oh, he saved it. Saved it, but it is two suppression because that was a suppressive weapon. Yeah, so so yeah, that will be uh, piling them on. Right, guys, I think that's the end of the round, so we're going to take off some suppression counters and uh, we're back for the uh, command cards. Right, guys, just to sort of do a quick uh, su um, suppression catch up. So the uh, veterans have got the one left on them, the officer has got two, the stormtroopers are down to one now because of the. Mm -hmm. Touching Help, the uh, helpful cover. The short troopers weren't able to get rid of theirs because they're in the open. No. And then we're on to the command cards. So over to the cards, guys. Right, guys, it's uh, turn four command card time. So I've gone for turn of the tide for a two pip. Gets uh, some inspire on the vehicles and. Uh, nice. I have gone for a two pip as well. Oh, support choice. I have gone for pin down. Are we going to just go for the same pips? Hey, it looks like we're going to be rolling off I, a lot here. I think so we, it's uh, I, I rolled last time, and um, you get it on a black on a on a block result. Okay, I'll go for a block. Here we go. Nope, no, I've got the priority every, this time. Every time whoever rolls it doesn't get it for us. Yeah. So, so we're going to do some orders, and we'll come back in a second with those um, shenanigans. 
Right guys, uh, it's uh, round four and the orders have been given to support heavy choices so the um, FD cannon's got one up there and thanks to the target array got, got an aim for it and the uh, land speeder over there has got it as well so it's my activation first, oh on the um, ATST and the uh, full unit of speeder bikes got the uh, got their tokens for the Imperials as well it's my activation I think I'm going to go probably with the FD cannon, mm, or do I go with a speeder? You know what? I'm going to go with a speeder. Uh, I'm going to do some moving and the shenanigans first, but um, I probably could. it's inspire two for this round, so that's before you do any movement. So I'm going to take. Um, I think it's, it's, it's a range one or two for inspire two seconds, guys. Uh. Right guys, before the land speeder did its compulsory move, it used the Inspire 2 from the turn of the tide to take a suppression token off the officer and one off the rebel veterans, so they've gone. Nicely done. Uh, we've, when we've got round here, we took an aim token and then we're going to do some a fire. Yeah. That way uh, the building's just falling down around. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> hopefully the... Um, I have no idea what that was. No, nope, I'm sure I'll find out later. When, when I, I don't think it was structurally important. We're all no, right. No, we're, we're all right for now. <laughs> Right then, so the he's gonna he's gonna put up a, a rocket at the ATST. We can we can just see, thankfully, the medium blast is gonna shoot the um, uh, the speeder bikes, and the pistol is going for the shore troopers. We're, we're spreading love around, guys. It worked for us last time. We're gonna see what happens this. Can this I time. ask uh, which speeder bikes? You're going after the bigger the, unit with a token. I've got, I've got a forward arc on the uh, the, ah, the medium arc. blaster, so I don't have yeah. a choice. Okay, guys. Over to the dice. We've got one aim token to um, to to use, so we'll hopefully use it wisely. Right, and back in a second. Right, guys. The land speed is going to have a bit of shooting action. We've got the uh, pistol at the shore trooper. See if we can knock one off. No, not a chance. Well, I'm not going to waste the reroll on that one. No, no hits at all, though. No hits at okay, all. Right. right then. Medium blast. The medium blast. We'll go medium blast next. The uh, speed of bikes. Yes. Thank you. Ah, three hits. That'll go down to two. I'm not going to spend the aim. Okay, two saves then. White dice. Mighty white dice. Uh, one save, one, one failed. Fruit, one wound. Okay. okay, and then lastly, the missile launcher at the ATST in heavy cover. Uh, we've got one natural crit, one hit. Mm. I'm going to re-roll those. You might as well. I'm going to go quick fishing. See if we get a natural cover. Otherwise, it's going to get boxed off by cover. Yeah, there we go. That's two to take. Two to take. Okay, can't kill it, but useful. Every bit helps. Oh, yep, two more wounds on it. One left, I'm assuming. Two more there. Yep, so that's... Okay, uh, on to the Imperials, guys. Right, guys, it's the Imperial activation time. Uh... It's Adam. You're going for your ATST. I'm gonna, while it's still, it's got one wound. One left, left and what? what the we, threshold stopped it from moving, so pretty much. So I might as well take an aim, stand where I am, and, uh, and having checked the ranges, and my order card is um, allows me to put your face up tokens back in the bag, uh, in yeah. the stack or whatever. The only problem is that I'm outside of range four of the FD cannon, so I can't stop it. He's and safe. It convenient. But as um, as the thing it's most likely to do is um, either pick on my squads or kill this. Um, this thing is still going to get its last laugh if I activate now. Right. So, so who, who's he picking on? Aim. So I'm going to split my fire. I think so. I'm going to fire the um, the light blaster, which is this one here, yeah. at um, your officer there. Right. I'm oh. going to fire the heavy main one at your squad that's out in the open there. Oh dear. And uh, I see it supported with an aim, which I can spend on either one of those pools. So we've got double rainbow for the. Um, Squad there and yep. a single rainbow for him. We've okay, guys. Okay. Over to the dice. To spend this. Right then. Uh, ATST shooting in five. I'll tell you what, I think it does first. So. Yeah. So that's big rainbow and then small rainbow. Full rainbow. Full moon. Half moon. Half moon. Total eclipse. Right then. That's what happens when a Death Star is brought into <laughs> orbit. Bye bye, planet. Oh no, no, just by by the, the heart, the crust, or whatever it is. Right then, ATST shooting for round four in five, four, three. Right then, we've got the AT, a, ATST shooting at the Rebel Officer and the Rebel Veteran. So, which one are you doing first? Adam? I'm going to do the bigger dice pool first against the uh, Rebel Veterans. Okay. Um, what I'm hoping is I'll do reasonably well with this and not need to spend the aim. 
and then I can spend it on the um, smaller target with fewer dice. So here's the first set. Uh, do we surge? Uh, we do not surge naturally, so that so is... So that's a possible one for your re roll, obviously. Uh, so that's three, three hits yeah. at the moment. Do you know what? I'm going to leave it at that and not use the aim. That's three saves for you. Okie dokie, three saves coming up. One saved. The okay. leader is alive, the, the good gun's gone. Okay, well that's that's fine. And then this one can be supported with an aim if I wish. So this is against your uh, guy who we, we did check line of sight and he's in the open from the point of view of the uh, ATS But light cover because of suppression. Guarantee. Light cover because of suppression. Here we go. Those dice. Um, two hits and a reroll. Yep, the reroll is here because I don't surge um, to hit. Surge defensively. So there we go. And a crit there. So, so that's one goes for cover, two saves. Two saves. He's got two wins left. So this will either be... Precise, or it will be one wound left or two wounds left. Let's he see. saved one. He's got one wound left. So, uh, so got two units there with one extra, wound extra suppression as well for everybody. Right, yep. my activation now. Right, guys. Uh, after that little um, spat there, we've got some suppression counters over there, and it's time to activate a unit. Uh, now, is it, do I go to get rid of them from there so I've got less chance of being hindered by the suppression, or do I go to my stack and hope I get chewy? No one asked you. Yeah. <laughs> or you. That's, right that's uh, somebody asking your phone and your phone replying yes. without uh, consulting you first. Yes, how rude. Right then. I think it's barrage time, but I think what we're going to do is um, is shoot a unit that's not been, even though it is tempted to put, put the ATST out of its misery. Um, yeah, we're going to go for the um, FD cannon. I think we're going to shoot the stormtroopers while they're in the open and hopefully knock them a few down. Right guys, uh, I think we're going to refresh the uh, barrage thing and then tap it again straight away because extra suppression is always welcome. Right guys, over to the dice. Right guys, I almost forgot. It's got inspired two at this round so he's going to take one off the officer and one off that trooper again. Hopefully this time the trooper is not going to get killed because he loses his suppression. Right, guys. See, I'm, just, back. I'm just giving you stuff to do with yeah. all this suppression. On, on to the, onto the uh, dice, guys. <laughs> right, guys. FD laser cannon at the stormtroopers with light cover due to the suppression counter. We've got an aim from the uh, link target array. Five dice and two white because of the barrage generator. Yeah, that's, a, that's a cock dice, unfortunately. But it's a hit. That surge will go to a hit. And so will that surge, Ooh. leaving two rerolls. Okay. Right, spend the aim. Ooh, Ooh, nice. That's a lot of hits. That's thing. That's six. Yes, it is six. Six. Six hits. Six hits on these stormtroopers. Okay, here we go then. Okay, three I don't down. surge defensively. So that's three down. Oops. Knocking that one over. Three down, three yep. survive. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, it's three down, two survive. There's only and five. Two, and two suppression counters as well. So that leaves you just the unit leader and the DLT. And two more suppression. All right, guys, on to the Imperial actions. Right, guys, it's time for the Imperial activation. Adam, are you going with your speeder bikes or something else? I'm going to go with the speeder bikes while there's still two of them there. Because um, sometimes in the past I've waited, you know, for a, a perfect moment and then uh, lost half the unit. Yep. Whereas I've got them, and I've got control over them now, so might as well Just find my uh, range free, and then we can uh, do that compulsory move. It's on top of the building. Nice. Right, we're going to come back in a second, guys, when he's, once he's done his movement. Right, guys, the speeder bikes have um, done a compulsory move. He's going for an aim, and yep. he's going to um, do a bit of split firing, because he's going to use a, his holdout blaster on one, and his uh, main guns on the other. Which, so which one's getting which? Uh, right, I think the holdout blaster will go on the closer target, on the and then the main gun will go on the guy further back. Yep, okay. Alright, over to the dice ball. Right, guys, it's the speeder bike shooting the rebel officer and the veteran. We've got the holdout blaster and the main gun of the speeder bike. So which one are you doing first, Adam? I'll do the main gun first at the, um, at the veteran. Red veteran. Yep, he he go. Heavy cover. It is heavy cover, yep. So uh, this is the one that I'm anticipating using the aim on. So let's go here. Uh, so two hits. Two hits there. Uh, which will go, by. which will bounce off. So I will spend that there. See if I can get a third hit through. Yep. 
You do. You do. That's um, so the first to a hit. So that is so. one save, which might just be enough. Nope, not today. No? Okay, so aim is gone, and then two black on your officer person here. So uh, two hits on him. One goes to the light cover because of the suppression. Suppression. So again, one save. So have I? No. Nope. I've split myself too far here, but that's two a suppression on each. Yep. So that's uh, in rebel activation time. Right, guys, it's time for the rebel activation. So I'm going back to my stack, and we've got a troop unit. And we're gonna, it's the uh, there's only the one, isn't the there? Rebel veteran, so we need a dice for the uh, suppression. See if we can get rid of it. Nope, no, so speed it's, what, bikes just, have done something. Just the one action, and we're probably gonna do some movement shenanigans in a second, guys. So I'll see what we can do, right, guys. As the um, I was unable to get rid of the suppression token, um, I've decided to do a, a small move. Actually, sorry, no, guys, I'm going to probably leave him where he is and take a dodge token. Sorry, guys. Um, mm -hmm. Probably a better, better option. Best to stay alive than to die. All right, guys, <laughs> we'll put a dodge token down and it's going to go over to the Imperials. Right, guys, time for the Imperial activation. It's uh, back to the bag, Adam, isn't it? It is, yeah. I've only Let's got see. the bag now. I used my predictor ones early, so, okay. It is the other speeder Support. bike. Okay, so where's this one? We're going to do some uh, movements well, and uh, see it's where... It's got to do a compulsory and then we'll see where see it where stands after that, yeah. Alright, back in a second, guys. Right, guys, the compulsory move is taken in there to pass the Rebel Officer, which is the guy he really wanted to shoot. So he decided to go with his holdout blaster and then taking an aim. And yeah. We'll go over to the dice in a second, guys, and see what happens. Right, guys, the, the Rebel Officer is getting shot by a holdout blaster from the speeder bike. Two black. Two black. With an go. aim. With an aim. So first set. Doesn't need his aim. I don't need my aim. It one will, be one will go, go from cover. And one save. Yeah, there we go. See if we can continue the saving. Well, missed the thing, but it was a. Uh, it was a block. It was a block. I mean, had one of those two been a crit, I would have. I would have uh, used the aim on the other one. But so, as it goes, another suppression on him, uh, but yeah. thankfully he's still alive. It's okay, he's my just not going to die. Right, guys, it's rebel activation time. Uh, it's back to the pool, the, the, the officer there is stumbling and refusing to die, it's really pinned down and it's his turn to activate. Now did you say you can't use Inspire yourself? Uh, I believe, on, I mean I'm just looking at Veer's card, remove up to two suppression, well one on his case from another friendly unit at range one to two. Right, okay. Which would suggest you can't Inspire yourself, I'm fairly sure it's come up before. Mm. Do, I, do, I, do, I wanna, do I want to keep that suppression on the, that, that guy or do I want to take it off? Well, I'll tell you what, that's, 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 that's a moot point, because I've still got a rally step to do. Yeah, you could you could roll. Mm, but then again, if, 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 if I inspire myself, I, I roll two dice, not three. Right, we're going to look it up and then back in a second, guys. Right, guys, we've looked it up and, and decided it's um, you can only use it on, on other friendly units, not yourself. So I've got three dice to roll on the um, rally step for suppression tokens. And I take none of them off, so we're down to one action. Yay! So he is suppressed! Right then, I'll do my actions in a second. Right guys, the, the Rebel Officer, uh, after rolling that abysmal um, rally roll, is down to one action. He's decided that he's found his blaster and he's going to um, try and kill a Stormtrooper and see what happens. Right guys, but over to the dice. Right guys, the Rebel Officer's decided he can shoot. He's got a sharpshooter one, but he will be going into cover. Uh, heavy cover, so it's down to light cover. So let's see what we get with this black and a white. Ooh, a surge to a hit, which will bounce off the cover. One more suppression for those stormtroopers. Right, guys, it's Imperial activation time. Back in the bag again for Adam. It is. See what we get. Symbolic shape there. Yeah. I have no idea what's it. It's a mixture of things in there. It is. Oh, it's the troops. It's so it's, troop uh, is it the stormtrooper so, or the uh, shores? Well, you've only got Chewbacca left to go, haven't yep. you? Yep. Uh, what I'm a game. Kill Chewbacca with um, what I've got here. And I'm not really trying I don't know. To... I, I didn't think you were going to kill Sabine when I had four wounds left and four hits. Mm. But I think <laughs> well, that I'm, happened. Gonna, I'm going to use these stormtroopers here. Ah, we've got four, four suppression four to roll. Four roll off. I mean, I'm, I'm likely to still be suppressed after this, so... Yeah, no, but... we've, only, we've only lucky I'll run away. I hope not. Veers is behind, so they, if they cleared one, they're all right. all right. But let's know what's going on. They've cleared one, Yep. so they're not running. They only have one action. So, okay, okay. Do you know what you're doing with that one action? I'm going to shoot something. You're going to shoot somebody? Who's getting shot? Well, I think it might well be your uh, 
Let me see that. They've both been now, so I might go for your rebel officer still, though, because he can hand out to... Ooh. The other one's in the open, though, isn't he, from that angle, I think? He will have light cover for the depression. Uh, you... I'll go for the trooper. The veteran? Veteran, yeah. Okay. Go for the veteran. So, some shooting, then. Over the dice. Right, guys, those stormtroopers are going to try and pick on that rebel vet. veteran. Yeah, go, yeah. Yeah. And that will bounce off cover. It will do. So, another no suppression, but nothing more. Okay, guys, on to the next unit. Right, guys, it's rebel activation time. Last one from the stack, and it is Chewbacca. Uh, we're going to do probably do a bit of moving or um, to get a better shot on those stormtroopers, and then we're going to unload and so hopefully uh, clear them off. Right, guys, we're back in a second. We've done a bit of moving. Right guys, Chewie has made a slight move to get some cover behind the barricade and he's going to shoot those stormtroopers who have got light cover because of the suppression tokens. For the... So he's got a better shot but um, less cover. Right, over to the dice. Right guys, Chewie is shooting those stormtroopers with light cover. Two red, two white, we pierce one. And we've got three hits. Uh, one hit will go away for cover. Mm -hmm. Two saves, pierce one. Right guys, we've got uh, two saves for the stormtroopers to take from Chewbacca's shooting. Yeah, here we go. There was a PS1 here as well, wasn't there? So, yeah, I'm just going to think of you. I'm got to, did I, got to make sure I took everything for cover off. You did. Oh, carry on. You got, you got three on me. Yeah. So, yeah, so two saves, PS1. I've got to make both of these yeah. to save one guy. Yeah. Nope, the unit is dead. Bonza. Right, guys, over to the Imperials. Right, guys, after that little um, fire despair shooting from Chewbacca, it's over to the Imperials to see what they can uh, do. Yeah, well, um, it's all me now, isn't all, it? Yeah, all, I, all, three, all the rebel have you just activated, so it's over to the bag for you for the rest of your turn. Three more tokens in here, but the order is the sort of. It's, it's a bag, it's so a bag we've got, Ooh, it's a trooper unit. Trooper unit. It's going to be. The shore troopers or the mortar? I think it's going to be the mortar. Let's, let's have Time mortar. for some long range firepower. Yeah, so this is range three to four. Let's just uh, pop that in and see what that gets me. But it hasn't moved since last turn, so really, it's it's likely to be an aim shoot, and it's likely to be at that imperial officer there. Yep. So yeah, I'll just do an aim shoot at him. Yep. Poor, right. poor officer. So right, guys, that shore trooper mortar is going up the rebel officer. We've got a heavy cover because the barricade's in the way, and um, we've got free white going for hoping for crits. I think. There we go. Yeah. Well, there we go. Nothing so far. Ah, so spend a whole aim. lot of nothing. So we'll take one of those away for you. And spend the aim for a whole lot more oh, of nothing. Oh, that's a big miss. That's not even suppression to us. Okay. Uh, it is suppressive. Does that you mean? You need to hit. I'm oh, sure. need to hit though. Well, we'll double check that, guys, but I'm pretty sure it isn't. But I'll let you know in the next video bit. Right, guys, after that miss from the um, the mortar, we, we decided that it needed to hit to order to cause suppression. Um, yeah. Back to the bag, Adam. So what's the next one? It is. It's General Veers. General Veers. Right, well... Uh, Here's, there's no one nearby that he needs to inspire, so I've already thought about this, and he's basically going to probably do like a double move. I'm just going to take a look here. He's definitely doing a move to start with, because uh, there's nothing better for him to do. First Ooh, move is, that, is that one number one or number two? That's first move. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. And then second move. Oh, we're around the side of the barricades. Can go Ooh. Yeah, touching the barricade as well, just in case. Just in case he gets a bit of suppression. Really there he is. And inspire one. You could yeah, he's in, in your rally stage, unfortunately. Ah, it's so too it's, late. It's, it's, it's at the start. Never mind. That's, Never that's mind. it from him. Never that, mind. That is it from right. it is. And you're back to your bag for that for your yep. next one. Which will be the final couple of shore troopers. So there we are, yep. the shore troopers. Shore there. troopers, they sure are. Oh, sorry, oh, couldn't resist oh, it. One pun, one pun, pun at least per battle report, I think. Nah. All right, I think the short troopers are going to do a move. Uh, you have to roll a few suppression first. Oh yeah, let's uh, roll that off actually before I decide that. It's, it may be that it's not worth them. Yeah. Oh, it you is. got rid of it. You got right. rid of it. So you're full, yeah, yeah. full activations. Well, they're definitely moving for the first one. Uh, so it might come round. You might have to come round and uh, do that. So I'll pause for a second. Right then, the shore troopers have um, snuck round the side of that barrier, and unfortunately for me, got in, got in range of the um, central objective. 
And um, Adam, are you going to do what you do with your second well, action? Well, yeah, they're, they're luckily they've been able to do that without needing a double move, which I was fully prepared to do if it came no. to it. But they've got a second uh, action, so it'll be a shot at something. Uh, just look at what I can see and what I can uh, fire well, at I here. I think but... you've got a choice of every. Oh no, you can't shoot the veteran. You could Chewie or or the officer. I'll go for the officer then. Right let's, then. Uh, let's start going for the officer then. Uh, so that is. How many short troopers are there? You got three. One of which is your, your so special. Four black, two white then. Okay, over to the dice. Right then, guys, the short troopers are shooting at the uh, rebel officer. Yeah. He's got light cover due to suppression tokens, so we've got four black, two white. Yeah, with critical one. Yeah. No aims. We did discuss splitting the pool and sending the range four one to the guy further back, but with no aims and all the cover you've got, nah. So. That's yeah, three well. hits. I didn't because that's three hits with one, cover. One goes off. for cover, so at least two saves. Two saves. Now, this could go either way because... Uh, He's only got the one wound left, so I need a good lucky roll here to get to keep him alive. No, nope, that's not a lucky roll. Oh. He's finally finally fell. Short Troopers finally got their man. Yeah, officer gone. Right then, guys, with the death of that uh, officer... Um, the veteran there leaving there is uh, controlling that objective with scores there. Uh, the middle one is contested between Chewie and the Shore Troopers, and over there, that one's controlled by the uh, Mortar. So, one possibly, point uh, each. Possibly Veers. Oh, Veers, Veers but maybe Veers. Well. Either way, it's controlled. Um, yeah. So, it takes it from 2-1 uh, to 3-2. So, um, all to play for, with the, <laughs> me having three, two, you, two models that can actually score. And uh, let's see what we can do in it's round, five. round five. It's getting Round five, yeah. Sides. Yeah, yeah we've, I've got two models, you've got four. Oh, five, five, you've got Veers as well. Right, guys, on to the uh, turn five. Uh, shenanigans and command phases type stuff. Oh, and uh, Chewbacca is now my uh, commander. Yeah. Just in case you didn't realise. Right, two moments, guys, back in a second. Right, guys, turn five, command phase. Chewie is now the new commander, and he's... Uh, Chosen a nice fit in covering fire, although I've only got one core unit left to put it on. You're gonna laugh at this because uh, I've chosen the Imperial. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just for a change, is, uh, is, it, is it my turn or your turn? Uh, it's your turn this right. time. Right, I'm gonna get a, the, the block for me to have the priority. Oh, for God's sake, yes, <laughs> you've go, got right, priority. priority. Three yeah. core units, I've only got two. Well, with, you, one with a comms relay. You've, but... got, you've got one more um, core unit than I do. So, well, I mean, so there's not much discussion. Right, about, on to well, the orders, guys. <laughs> right, guys. Um, issued the orders. I've only got the one core unit left. Um, well, one core model, anyway. So the trooper there, I'm going to have to put a dodge token out for him in a second. Adam's issued um, his shore troopers and the mortar, which he's chosen yep. not to comms relay. I've just and, got two tokens out here that I can yeah, I need to, put need in to your go bag. back in my bag yeah there's me thinking I only had I've got more tokens than I thought I had there but it's are you going to go with your, one of your core units or are you going to go to your bag well this is the thing now because I've got four quite tasty units in here and I've got core units out there so I'm actually going to go for the bag because the, the more destructive stuff is actually in the bag so I'm pulling out from the bag and it is speed of bikes Okay, are we going for the full unit or the half unit? I think, half, half I think again, destructive potential, it has to be the full unit. Right, oh. So there we go. Do a compulsory move in a moment and then uh, be back. Right, then we'll be back in a moment for that. Right, guys, the speed of bikes have done a compulsory move and then a, um, a short move to take them to there so they can get their guns to bear on that uh, last uh, rebel veteran. Yep. And he's um, going to get shot by the full potential, but no aiming, thankfully. Double, double rainbow dice. Yeah. Okay, over guns. to the dice. Right, guys, speed of bike, shooting the rebel veteran, light cover due to suppression, and a dodge mm -hmm. token. So let's see what we get. So, how, where's the dodge token come from then? Is this a uh, he's special... got, got it because he's a, a rebel veteran and hasn't got issued an order. Ah, nice. So here's the roll, and that there's is a crit and four. three. So I'll spend my dodge, spend the, and the cover will knock another one off, so I'll leave uh, two. two. Okay. So. Best I could have hoped for, really, but let's see if uh, two white dice. Nope, he's gone as well, so no more veterans. Bye-bye. Right, guys, after that um, rebel veteran went down, I've no longer got any face by order tokens, so it's all to the stack now. It's a heavy, and I'm going to do my compulsory movement and see where we end up, and then I'll decide what we're doing. Okay, guys, back in a second. 
Right guys, it's the land speeders at operation time. We're going to have to fire the missile launcher at the ATST see if we can take that last point of damage. Uh, the medium blaster is going to shoot that uh, mortar, and I think the I think the the, the pistol is going to shoot the shore troopers. Mm -hmm. We're going to try. We're going to continue sharing the love, guys. It's so we we'll share it around. So so, so okay really then. Has. No aim this time, so hopefully we're going to have to stick, be happy with what we roll. So we're going to go over to the dice now. Back in the tick. Right, guys, the land speed is shooting. We're going to have a, uh, the pistol at the shore troopers for two white. Aha! I love each other. Two misses. Fantastic. The medium blaster at the mortar. Oh, he's got three hits. Ooh, have to do it. That's uh, be three saves for you, Adam, please. Three saves. At least red. So That'll do it. No, no. Suppression though. Yep. And then the um, launcher at the ATST. And I'll get that will get lost for cover because of um yeah, it is before critical goes before impact goes in. What a you know overall that was a whiff. Okay guys, next unit. Right guys, it's the next Imperial activation, so Adam, what are you doing? Let's get down to the wire here, but I'm gonna fish for something good from the bag. Okay. Because uh, there's some good shooting in, in this bag, hopefully. Okay, it, this token feels like it is this. Fantastic. Right, okay. That's probably good for you. Yep. So, so put Veers here, and let's see what I'm gonna do is. What's his uh, inspire range? I could maybe take that suppression off the um, thing after my rally step, which is right now. Yep. So I might as well do that because that's free. So I'll just take that off. Uh, so now spotter is range one. So I'll give them a name maybe. But that would be it. And then maybe a move just, uh, just well away from Chewy. He's, he's in a fairly good spot there though, at the moment. So. Uh, I'll tell you what he'll do. He'll uh, use spotter. Yeah, he'll use spotter next. Give out some aims. Now spotter is um, including himself, isn't it? So yeah. So uh, he's not gonna be able to use spotter three because um, the uh, other units are too far away. But he'll give himself an aim token, and he'll give. Um, the mortar a name. So he's taking a suppression off from giving it a name. And now he's gonna just take a pot shot at the um land speeder. Right. Does have sharpshooter, so that'll drop you to cover one. Yep, over to the Dyson. Yeah. Right guys, General Veers shooting at the land speeder with three white dice. Three white dice, surging oh. to crit with an aim. So here we go. Okay, well there here comes the aim. He's uh, not got precise or anything, he's just um Oh, there's precise one. Oh, there you go. There you, go. you can reroll re all three. There's Try again. Um, here's three crits then. Oh, two, yeah. that will do. And you cover one. Jams, so no, cover doesn't stop. Doesn't even matter, so yeah. Cover cut doesn't stop. Uh, crits, uh, unfortunately. There is no pierce, though. Oh, no, it's pierce one, sorry. No, that's, so. just, that's just mean. Right then, see if we can save any. Oh, we saved one, but... Oh, don't, actually, we might not save one, but... Uh, either way, pierce has got, got rid of it, so two damage points onto the speeder. Right guys, after the land speeder took a bit of a uh, bit of damage there, we got back to the stack for my next activation. And it's the support unit oh, up here. Oh, it's the FD cannon. It's the FD cannon. Uh, we're going to have a uh, quick think about what we're doing and we'll be back in a second. Right guys, the FD laser cannon, I've decided to shoot the... Rather than trying to kill the uh, ATST as much as I'd like to, I'm going to shoot the shore troopers and because um, they're a scoring unit. Unit, so we're going to um, going to recharge the uh, the barrage generator for, for for a change, and then tap it straight away, and fire at the shore troopers with, with everything we've got. Okay, guys, over to the dice. Right, guys, it's the FD laser cannon shooting the shore troopers. Five white, no, nope, five black, two white, mm -hmm. and no aiming this time. Let's hope for a good roll. Uh, I'll do. We search to hit. And it is five hits. Okay. So five saves, please, Adam. Uh, does the unit not have heavy cover? It, oh, good point. Three saves. Thank Three you. saves. But this could go really well or really badly. Here we go. 
It's gone one fairly well. Mm-hmm. That's uh, lost one, down. one trooper and a suppression. Two suppressions, please. Okay. Oh, suppressive. On to the um, uh, b- b- um, Imperials. Right, guys, Imperial activation. Are we going to the bag, Adam, or are you going to go for your mortar or your shell trooper? We're going to go to the bag. Okay. Here we go. It is. Speed away. Right. Now, this is the lonely one. I've already thought about this. So, it's going to do hard turn for his. Uh, it can do that, can't it? They're, they're repulsive, they don't block. Uh, Should we look it up? Yeah, best look. I've no I can't remember. Have a little quick look and we'll be back in a second. I guys. think it was ground. Right, guys, well, after all that, we decided, yeah, you can just. Mm. We looked it up. Yeah, it's fine. Um, and he's then doing a second short, sharp move to get uh, Chewy into arc. And he's another shot up Main weapon arc, yeah. Uh, okay, over to the dice. Right, guys, speed bike, shooting Chewy back with heavy cover. Rainbow dice, let's see what we get. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, that's that over with. Uh, my activation. Right, guys. It's my round last activation for this round. I've got the last stack. I think it's Chewbacca. Yep, because he's, he's now the commander. So I think we're going to have to do a bit of movement and um, try and take out those um, shore troopers. Right, guys. I'll do a bit of movement and uh, then we'll come back in a second. Right, guys. Chewie's advanced to there. And then we're going to have a shot at the shore troopers. And we'll see if we can take one or two of them off. Eh? Hopefully, both of them. Okay, guys. Over to the dice. Right, guys, two is shooting those shore troopers with two red and two white. Yeah. We've got, unfortunately, still got hard cover, so we'll see if we can get some decent. Uh, that's a no, unfortunately. So that'll take off the cover. And, um, They're okay, are they? Yeah. You did hit them, though. I hit them, so, so suppression token. Suppression. Right, on to the Imperial activation. Right, then, guys, Imperial activation. Uh, Adam's going fishing. Yeah, well, I think I know what's in here because it's only the, the ATST. Yep. Yeah. Now, we, we have just checked. And we're both in agreement that the ATS key can see Chewie's can see head. Chewie's head. Yep. Very unfortunately, because of the ladder uh, where it's placed, and it's just got a shot on him. Obviously, it's the hardest to cover, but yep. uh, at this point, I don't care about him raging him up. He, he needs to die. Um, so, ATS is just going to unload everything on him yep. and ignore the land speeder, because Chewie's the only thing left, I think, that can claim over there anyway. Objectives, isn't he? Yeah, that thing's not going anywhere. So, yep. Chewie's the only one that can hamper my plans now. So, okay, yeah, it's be over to the dice, guys. Triple rainbow, I think. Right, guys, it's time for the ATST to do some shooting at Chewbacca. Triple rainbow, the name. Let's see what he gets. Yep. And he's got to push through some hard cover here, so let's hope for some good rolls here. So, it surges, it surges to. to no, it surges defensively. So, we're going to have to spend the aim. And uh, I'd re roll that one because there's more hits on the reds and the other red. There we go. Right, that's, uh, just clean up a bit. Get yep. rid of those. So you've got two so far. So I need to get some sort of hit here just to go through the cover. Yep. How oh, about another two? Oh, that's uh, two go through. Two go through. Thank so you, aim token. Two saves coming up. Yeah. No surges in this one. One saves, one fails. So he's down to eight. Okay, guys. I think it's. Um, Imperial all the way now. We'll um, is, yeah. yep. over to that. Right, guys. In Imperial activation time, uh, Adam, which shore troopers are you activating? Are you activating um, the, the squad or the mortar? The squad, because I want okay. to see what happens with the suppression. You've got three three suppressions to roll off. Uh, none of them none whatsoever. Them? So they are the suppressed. They're okay with veers. Oh, your veers double veers there. Sorry, my yep, bad. So they're okay with veers. So yep. they're just one action. One action. So I think they're probably just going to shoot at Chewy. So okay, yep. it's already got an aim from being issued an order, so it is uh, three black. They lost one, didn't they? So it's three black, two white. Yep, okay. On to the dice. Right, guys, short troopers shooting Chewy in the open. Well, he's, he's got a suppression counter, so he's got a light cover. So three, go. three black, two white. Yep, with critical one. Oh, get over. Let's see what we get. Okay, well, oh, Jesus uh, Christ. critical one converts uh, one. I'm assuming you want to convert the, the, the white, white one, one yeah. and uh, re-roll and that black one. Re-roll the black, see if I can get a, another hit with the aim. So here we go. No, but that Four, doesn't make so, any difference. So uh, Cover takes one, yeah. three, three left. Saves. Okay, let's just move these out of the way. Thank you. Go, go, short troopers as usual. And that's no, that's all failed, and you've made it, you've made him angry. You made him angry at the yeah, last so moment. So he's up to four there. wounds now. Right then, uh, after Chewie's taken his four wounds, he's over to the mortar to be activated again. Let's just flip that over for 
Yeah. Well, the mortar's Correct. happy with its position, so I'm going to take a second aim because these yep. are only three white dice. Yep. And so, uh, second aim, and then uh, three white. At Chewy. At Chewy. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what happens. Right, guys. The mortar shooting Chewbacca. Um, we got obstructed by the uh, barrier barricade, so we got to uh, heavy cover. Yeah. So uh, this mortar is three white dice, and it is critical one. It's suppressive as well, but I'm told that doesn't matter anymore. No, his chewy is not. He's a bit. He's a bit cross. There we go, him. So there's a crit there. Yep, and a hit. Uh, which, will, which will bounce. Which will bounce. So I'll spend the first aim token and those two. And go fishing. Go fishing. Nope. Spend the next aim token and go fishing again. No. no. So just one save on Chewy then. Let's see if we get it. We do. Ah. Okay, guys. I think that's the last one. So I'm going to do a bit of tidying and uh, come back for the command phase. Right, guys. Command phase time, round six. I've had to go for standing orders because I've got no more um, generic cards left. Well, I do have a generic card left, but just like in the last game with you, I can't issue an order to anyone. I've just got it for one pip. It's a, it is a generic one, though. Yep. But I do have... Uh, look at two random command cards from your opponent's hand. Let's be seeing them, mister. <laughs> Here <laughs> you go. Be, this would be two Sabine ones from yep. when I killed her. Yeah, we go. There we go. Useful intel. Yep. But there we go. <laughs> so uh, that's what happens. At least I had a one pip. Right, I could play let's go uh, um, assign some orders, guys. Right, guys. It's round six. We've, uh, I've got the one issue, order issued, and I've issued it to the speeder. Adam wasn't able to order any um, any nope. orders because he's got no... Um... I don't have any special forces left. But yep. the one pip card at least makes sure that I can draw from my bag before you get to activate anything. So, so uh, Adam's going straight to his bag. All my tokens are in my bag. So whatever comes out, it's going to be interesting. Yes. So uh, we like that. Oh, okay. So it is... It's yeah, a, a trooper unit. unit. So that is interesting because... Sorry, a core unit. Was... Core unit, yeah. So... <laughs> Chewie currently has charge, doesn't he? He does. Yeah. So, and the nearest thing he could charge is the shore troopers. Yep. Mm. Now, from the angle that that speeder is at, the shore troopers don't get cover from it at the moment. No, but then again, the speeder will have to move. Mm -hmm. The shore troopers don't have an aim, so it will have to move. Yeah, it's got compulsory, so... Short troopers might be alright staying where they are. I think, on reflection, I'm going to activate the shores. Yep. And I'm going to see if I can roll that. Is it two suppression? Yeah, two suppression you got there. Okay, let's have a look. Nope. So Just one, one action. action. Shoot Chewy. Okay, over to the dice, guys. Right, guys, the short troopers shooting Chewy in the open. Three black, two white, and critical one. Here we go. Three hits. Three hits, no, no modifications there. No disintegrations. Well, let's hope there is. So that's a that's a bit whiff. Okay, so free damage on Chewy. Right, guys, it's the rebel activation time. I've decided I'm going to go to my stack and hopefully I'm going to get Chewy. So let's see who we've got. Ah, it's not Chewy. No mind. It's the FD laser cannon. And we have a quick think about what we're going to do, and uh, no, I'll be back in a second. Right, guys, the FD laser cannon is going to shoot at the uh, shore troopers again. It's uh, doing a refresh action, so he's going to. And then I immediately tap the barrage generator to use it again. So, five and two, over to the dice. Right, guys, um, I've had a bit of a change of mind before I rolled my dice. Uh, the FD can going to shoot the, uh, the ATST and hopefully destroy it before, oh. it's, before it kills Chewie. Oh, poor ATST. Uh, okay, guys, over to the dice. Right, guys, we've got uh, the FD laser cannon shooting at the ATR, ATST. Uh, it's got heavy cover due to its uh, knee joint being obscured by mm. a building. Unfortunately, so we've got five white, black and two white with impact two. See if we can get some decent dice. That'll do. That That'll do. Good. That's decent enough for me. That's a that goes to a hit. That's gonna get goes to impact. Um, they'll get knocked off the cover. So we got three hits. That will be enough. Defensive surge, but three white dice. You only have to get one through. Yeah. So here we go. This is probably going to be. Oh, so close there, because that looked like it was going to... But no, you've got it with one to spare as well. Right, then ATST that's... is no more. Right, guys. It's time for the Imperial activation after the ATST went down. Um, Adam's back to his bag. 
what we're doing. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've got any tokens out now, do no. I? Because I, I couldn't. Well, you, so didn't, you couldn't have any. I'm completely at the mercy of what this bag gives me today, and that is troops. Troop, yeah, that is the mortar. That's the mortar. That right. is the mortar, and. Uh, well, there's not really much else. You can still see Chewie because he hasn't moved since uh, yep. I last fired at him. So I'm literally just going to take an aim and fire at him. Okay, over to the dice, guys. Right, guys, round uh, the round six, last shooting for the mortar at Chewie. Three white dice. Look at that. Critical one. With an aim, Ooh, so that's, 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 that's a crit. Crits. That's a critical one there. Yeah, and a, a reroll. And a reroll for the aim, yeah. I mean, I couldn't have hoped for much better than that. Let's uh, let see if I can get another. No, nope. not another, but that's very good for the more today. All right, let's, let's see if Chewie survives. Please not. No, he does not. Down Why has he goes. not surged the block? No. Okay, there we go. Right, guys, after that, that blow there, we've um, got the land speeder just to move them to claim some glory left for the, what's left of the Rebels. So, I'm um, going to do a compulsory move and we'll see where we end up. I'm back in a second, guys. Right, guys, I've... Um, Decided to um, admit defeat here because I think there's not there's not there's no way I can uh, I'd have to kill uh, Veer's uh, mortar trooper and, and the uh, shore troopers to stop them all claiming and getting four more points into the rebel score even though I've got another two coming for that one. So, uh, so you end on what four definitely is that right? You you, it, was, it was three two before you I get another two so that's uh, four. that's five 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 five. No, you're getting. Seven, 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 um, seven, seven four. for me. Seven, four. Seven, four, yeah. So it worked out quite well in the end, guys. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to have time for uh, a bit of an overview, but... I would uh, say, even if you had killed Veers and the Mortar, yeah. um, you would still been five, four, I you'd, think. You'd still be one, like, one point ahead of me. One point ahead, yeah. Chewie dying yeah. is what did it, and that's why I sort of suddenly... I didn't want to enrage him earlier and have him able to charge me, which is why I sort of ignored him until the end. Yeah, so that I, sounds like I had a plan. Yeah, I, I did sort of. I think a lot of my, my my chances went down when Sabine dropped like a like a sack of spuds. I would like to, just one final thing I'd add is uh, I think this is the first game on record where I've actually beaten you, like ever. Is it? I think so. Oh, we've surely had, you've beaten me before. We've had close run things, but I think you've always managed to um, um, get me at this stage of the game. But this time it swung the other way. But yeah. it was very tight, and it did take full six turns to find out. Although uh, exactly it was a, a nice outing for the um, the, the, the land it, speeder. It's nice that your two newest units actually have survived the game. And well, in fact, two, two scratched, out of three. In fact, that's completely unharmed, because I didn't even shoot at it. Yeah, that's, that's, just, that's why it's unharmed. And that range five is incredible. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, just the, the positioning as well was just amazing. It looks brilliant, actually, up there. It's, it's incredible. Yeah, on but, top, yeah, right. even with its grassy field. Right, yeah. guys, that's, that's going to be up from, from us for this game. Uh, so hopefully we'll catch you again later. Drop a comment below if anything we might have done wrong. Um, thanks, guys, for watching, and we'll all see you all later. Bye-bye.